Shout out when you join the chat room. the truck was already here. Hello. It must be, what is it, five o'clock I guess your time? Past tea, almost dinner. Supper? I don't know. What do you call it over there? I'm gonna start in a moment. Just, uh... pretty well um, thanks for asking it's uh, between that and the other thing I added this week I take off my shirt in order to show you um, is I added this uh, armband uh, thing for tennis elbow um, and it's helping quite a lot as well at least as far as the healing goes so it means that I'm um, it's it's holding the tendons immobilized that's where the pain is actually is up, up there by my elbow so I don't actually, I wasn't actually feeling any pain while coding, but I was still having pain that was getting worse and worse over time um, in the evenings and on weekends when I wasn't coding. Um, I think when I'm coding I actually just kind of go into the zone and don't really notice things like that anymore. Um, so yeah, I mean it's, it's helping a lot to have this, um, I have to kind of careful with it. I think I probably have been wearing it a little too much, but Nels has been great about letting me um, take a little time uh, off uh, as well, so I'm not really working a full day right now as well for coding. So between all of those things, it's everything's kind of getting going in the right direction finally. I think I have all the pieces to, to finally heal up properly, um, but it's been like trying a bunch of things. I'm also taking a fair amount of ibuprofen every day to help reduce swelling. It's just a million, million things. Thank you, Edward T. Justice. Yeah, it's it's been really, uh, it's been a really slow process, sadly, but but it is getting there. So I'm glad for that. Um, I was just uh, answering a couple Ask FM questions here while I. Uh, hey, Mackenzie while I uh, wait for folks to join, and it seems like people are coming in, so um, I will maybe leave this one till later. Uh, let me just answer it. thing. This keyboard is super helping though, uh, as I was pointing out to Goth Chocobo. Alright, let me uh, switch to the game now. Uh, whoops. Uh, hmm, I'll touch her. Yes, maybe here. Yes, leveled up you are here is probably where I'm going to start. Um, oh, I want the book. I gotta switch back over for a sec here. I 
game. Sorry, I closed the window. But I need to quickly put the PDF on the page that I want, which is the page with the magic. Um, the magic spells. This is the one super pain in the neck to look up. It's like, what are the spells? Uh, why they're way down here? Okay. I think that's what I want. First circle. Okay. Alright, let's go back to it. screen. Oh, good, I did the wrong one. We have that mouse thing. So you gotta alt-tab out again. It's a weird thing that happens. Alt-tab in again. Uh, and click on it. Looks like it's okay. I don't know what that... No oh, there it is again. I get this weird mouse thing that happens. Yeah. I don't want that. Okay. Hello, game. There's this weird thing that happens whenever I uh, start up. Does that say IBM? Does which say IBM? Oh, it does actually. I mean, in runes. Um, it's, uh, I can tell you what the rune, I think I can tell you what the runes mean. Oh, God, what is with the audio, too? I might have to restart this damn thing. Hey, Donnie. Oh, what is going on with the mouse today? This was fine last time. Uh, but it's definitely messed up. Alright, I might have to restart the game here. Let's try it. What will this do to the stream? Let us see. Uh, let's try again. Ultima. Oh, let me turn that beep off. <clears throat> hey, Donnie. Hey, Donnie, Donnie. All right, let's see if we see that in the stream. Can you see the DOS window? Can everybody see the uh, DOS window? I actually can't see that part of my stream. I don't want to switch away in case that was the problem. Now my mouse is fine. So let me know what you see. Hopefully I picked up the um, thing otherwise uh, when I created it. Okay, good. We are back. All right, so uh, I believe I did uh, You Are Here to remind me of where I was. Oh yes, this is where we were. Um, so for those who weren't here last time, I think so far everybody I've seen uh, join the chat um, has, was here before. Um, we are playing Ultima Underworld um, from 1992, considered by many to be the first uh, interactive, or rather immersive sim. Um, I'm playing it with mouse and keyboard, as is my as is my want, but I'm using the keyboard entirely for notification. Man, some of the music choices in this thing. I might turn the music off again, because, oof. Um, wait, why would you go back? That's a weird thing. Alright. Uh, huh, weird. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe it's my, uh, maybe I'm running into something or something. Weird, weird, weird. Huh? Jump. Oh, see? And that's one thing I'm bad at. Jumping. So, I'm just gonna reload whenever I have to jump, because I stink at the jumping. Alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, again with the, uh, uh. So yeah, I was totally hooked by this game. I played some Ultimate Underworld 2, uh, like literally the the day after I streamed, I believe, or maybe two days after. Oh, come on, Brett. Ugh, gross. It's just, at this point, I'm like, maybe I should just go ahead and... Uh... Oh, and a bat got in my way. Oh, that's the worst. I would not care about this so much, except that falling, I think, is costing me health, and this game seems like a game where you just don't want any of that to happen. Yeah, screw it, let's find our way out. 
Let's swim out. Um, I think it's this way. Um, so where are we? We were here. Yeah, so we gotta swim down into this area, I believe. Maybe we can get out over here. One of the things that's really nice in um, in uh, this one. Oh, so I killed that spider. This is where the Green Goblin King is. This is where Gray Goblin King is. There's some space over here. This is where the outcasts are. Where is the secret door? Looks like I did not maybe mark the secret door. And looks like I didn't really visit this area over here entirely. Um, but I'm thinking about going downstairs anyway. Um, just because I've spent a lot of time on this floor already, it feels like it might be fun to to move on um, and see what else there is. So somewhere there's a secret door, but I do not remember and I did not mark it. So good for me. So I think I'll just make my way out of here, up. Um, I might, while we pass through here, I might see what's over here just because, who knows, right? I'll go ahead and um, put a question mark there. That is a lousy question mark. Um, and I'll come out here. And then I think maybe just uh, just go down. Um, I do not remember the first System Shock all that well. And it's another one that I think I only began playing because I had a, a similar sort of feel. I bet it was smaller, yeah. Because um, it's a space station and this is meant to be some gigantic cavernous thing. Um, I also wonder if they're trying to remember what else they might have had going on. They certainly have more systems going on, um, I believe. Um, so there's that. There's a, Maybe this is the secret door. That's possibly, possibly what's going on here is that this is the secret door I couldn't get through um, and didn't have a key for. Um, but while I'm up here, actually, I want to run over here and see if I can poison the Grey King or if he'll mention that I killed the spider. Because I'm just curious. One of the things we talked about on the podcast was, you know, is it is it a thing that, though there's no quest journal, that there's actually suggestions of quests? And so I just wanted to check into that a little bit um, because I don't, I don't have any clue whether that is a thing. So... Um, I kind of want to know. Oh god, now I gotta do this jumping. And I get this thing behind me. Um, right, so I can kind of jump off here, I guess, to get to the thing. Uh, right, there it is. Alright, so let's hopefully... Oh, I went to the wrong one. Okay, that's fun. Of course you can't see, because I only have a candle. I'm gonna want, I think, the torches for lower levels. Uh, let's look at the map again. Yeah, so I should be able to kind of jump diagonally to to get there. I can almost see it there in the darkness. Okay, there's that, and then this way. Oh, and that's why I hate this part of the game. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this again. You're gonna watch this. Uh, Nice, McKendy. Yeah, I was I was gonna do a druid, but the stream was like, you gotta play a bard. You're the bard guy, um, which is normally true. So maybe I can do this better this time. There we go. Okay. Um, I just needed to try again. Apparently, get back my Ultima Underworld legs today. All right. So here's back at the entr almost to the entryway. I'm going here. Okay. I think this is basically the entryway, and then. We want to go north, right? Go north and go to here. This is what we're gonna look at and see if we can see what we can see there. So this is north. Doom, 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 doom. I forgot to turn off the uh, sound, so you get to hear them. All right. Um, uh, I don't know if we're quite there yet. Oh, okay. So maybe there's nothing here. Seems like maybe nothing can't really see too well. Um, although there is a ledge down here. It's just like a ledge. Okay, and then there's water down there. So I guess we don't want to go there. Um, but I do want... Oops. Oh, uh, boy. Jumping up is terrible. Because there's no air steering. And so if you're moving forward at all... 
I'm gonna end up knocking myself off the edge of this thing. How, how great is that? Oh my god. The things that are not good in this game are really not good. And jumping is the thing they should have left out. There we go. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna go up to the Grey Goblin dude. Um, because I'm curious about, uh, whether or not you can poison him, and I'll say before I do that, and I also want to see if he talks about the spider. Um, my suspicion, and maybe I should test this suspicion now, um, uh, before I actually go up there, is that uh, this green mushroom, maybe, um, will actually give me, or this green potion will actually poison. So let's go ahead and test that. Um... Of course, this is one of the dumb things about games uh, like this, is... Alright, so I quaffed the potion and nothing apparently happened? I'm not poisoned. Okay. So, that didn't do it. Let's see if... Uh, I don't want to do that. Let's see if that green mushroom will... Okay, it caused my head to spin and my vision to blur which normally we would do with a screen effect, but back, in, back then, no screen effects. But it doesn't poison, um, it maybe did a little bit of damage. Okay, so, looks like I don't have any poison potions. That's not what I wanted. So, so that's good to know. So I'm not gonna test the Poisoning King, but I do wanna see if, if that, that's effectively a quest when he asks you if you would go kill this, um, this spider queen. She spider, uh, all right, so let's go, I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's go north from here. Yeah, north. Good, let's go up into the Great King, the Great Goblin King's domain. Okay, that's in here. And then, oh yeah, these are like, oh hey, it's us. Um, and maybe I can't get in here this way? Maybe I can talk to this dude and he'll open it. Um, so let's talk to him. Boop. Can you open the portcullis? Okay, thank you. Okay, good. I used to hate games without jumping. Now I've come to appreciate how much harder levels are to design without it. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a fair point. Um, that's, a, that's a point I should probably bring up with Tim on the cast, because he's the level designer dude. Um, oops, I can't talk to that. I want to use that. It's locked. Huh. Okay. Sturdy door that is locked. So there's probably a way to find the key. Or maybe I could pick somebody's pocket or something. The dude's in here, right? Yeah, it's him. Okay, this is the guy I was looking for. Uh, okay, so basically the fact that I killed the spider is not like some kind of hidden quest. There may not be any real quest mechanics in here. Um, so it seems like talking in this game is more of a, oh hey, here's some things you might want to try, or not, up to you, um, and such like. So that's cool. It's good to know. Um, Alright, so let's look at the map, and we'll go down to level two. So that means um, going south, it looks like down is here, so south across the bridge. Take a right and kind of go over here. All right, I'll probably have to stop a couple times and figure that out. So let's go find the bridge. So some differences between this one and the next one is the next one is, believe it or not, much harder, um, which I wouldn't have credited. I think this is the way to go. That's fine either way, uh, which I wouldn't have expected. Oh, in fact. Is that a secret door? I thought I saw a secret door there. I don't want to talk to that. I want to see if it's a secret door. It's a regular. I noticed it was a regular. Is it a, it's not a secret door though? Okay. So we got this big space here. I'm kind of curious. Like, is it just, hmm, yeah, just a regular thing? Okay. This one looks like it's not also a regular. It's just, just weird way things are lining up in the texturing. Um, all right, let's go back to the map. I really want to bind the M key. All right, go straight. Take a left and a left. 
Yeah, so I should ask him about that. Um, all right, but anyway, what I was saying is the differences between this and uh, Underworld 2 is um, that has, uh, it's first of all, it's more difficult in the beginning level. There are traps, uh, which is not something I've run into here. And I don't see in the spell list, I don't see a detect trap. No, I don't see any detect traps. So there may not be traps in this game, um, uh, other than the jumping puzzles. So that's a thing. All right, looks like down is right here. I get across this water, maybe? There's some water to my right. Uh, or maybe I gotta jump. It looks like maybe I gotta jump across that. I think that's what I probably did last time. All right, let's see how that goes. Okay, good. Okay, and now here it is down. Um, so yeah, there's like some monsters on the first uh, thing. On the first level that you can't beat when you first go down there. Um, even on the easy level of difficulty, there are... Uh, where did my mana go? Uh, oh, mana slowly refills too. I didn't miss that. Um, there are some monsters that are tough. Uh, they're like, I don't think they're beholders, but they sort of look like beholders. They're like big central eye and maybe another eye stock um, that are really difficult. Also, I didn't know that you could do this. You can click on this and tell you where you are um, in terms of uh, what you know about the world. Um, what else is different? Um, I think that's the biggest thing. Oh, in the in the water, there's drains that here are purely graphical. Oh, 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 oh! We're gonna fight this thing. I think it's a little strong for Tim to say these are gesture based, but but they are basically top or bottom of the screen. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's a little bit more difficult, and there are traps. Oh, here's a key. We'll probably want that. All right, let's take this. Take this key and put it in here. Uh, maybe, maybe not, maybe. Uh, I don't like know how to organize my stuff. Okay, I'm gonna, no, I don't have room for that. So I'll put that up there. Um, I'm gonna put weapons and crap in here. And I guess I'll put keys and stuff in here. Can I put that in there? Okay, good. I have fewer things now. And maybe I'll put my map a little bit more. These two things in the bottom row. It's all about uh, it's all about managing your inventory. Yeah, you know, Donnie, I'm not. I, I don't disagree with you. I you know, there's a um, there's definitely a history of expecting in in action oriented games to have jump as a verb, and I think part of that is because action games are typically so. Um, oh, entrance to mines, interesting. Action games are typically helmet recommended. Good, good. Uh, they they have so few verbs that you expect. Okay, the door's locked. I'm gonna guess. Uh, oops, is that how you do that? Use on door. Okay, good. <clears throat> that the what few verbs have kind of been naturally added to the to the verb set. You would also you would basically have in all games because that's. The verb set you expect, um, you know, and and so I don't think it's entirely unreasonable to be honest that you might you might think that that would be the case. Man, it's creepy walking around here in the dark. Okay. Oh, oh, we've got. Is this like a dwarf? Looks like a dwarf. Okay. Let's. Um, okay. It probably says I see a. Oh, he's a mellow mountain man. So he's. They're not called dwarfs. I ye must be Trish, of whom I've heard. What can I do for ye? Um, let's start with that. The kidnapped girl. Terrible. Oh, he knows. He knows. Um, I hear a troll carried her below. I hope all turns out well for you. Up here we have enough problems of our own. Uh-oh. Um, our minds in the southeast have been invaded by a fearsome beast floating in the air with many tentacles. That sounds exactly like that thing that I, uh, I found in the other one. Um, okay. I wonder if they'll help me. Shaq may be the one you want. Indeed, I remember his time with the Lakers. 
Um, a smith he is, and knowledgeable in the ways and workings of his trade and the world. King Goldthirst you should seek out too, if you wish to gain his favor. Uh, okay, let's tr let's trade. Do you have anything good? You have money. You have food. What on earth even is that? Oh, badly worn chain cowl. I already got one of those. I be I believe. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll add the food. Uh, maybe I. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's go in here. No, actually, do I really care about this cudgel? Uh, probably not. Let's see. I need to think about this deal. I'm getting a terrible deal, so I guess I don't want that. How about if I take all his money too? Um, now I'm getting an excellent deal. How about I make the? How about we? Can you split these? No. Um, I don't really care about that. How about? Uh, how about I give him the shield too? An even deal. That sounds fair. Let's go ahead and do that then. Because um, what do I really care? I've got a shield. I'll probably get a better one at some point. Um, I make thee this offer. Oh, he doesn't like it. Huh. Well, how about that? Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, maybe I'll not do that and not do this. And I'm getting a terrible deal. Um, hmm. I don't know what to do about that. Like, I can't convince him? Okay, let's see what else we got. Maybe there's something else we have that he might like. Let us um, add this dagger to the deal. Um, I'm getting a very bad deal. He probably like that. How about now? I'm getting an even deal. How about that? Ugh, what a pain in the neck. Okay, I'm not enjoying the uh, bartering game all that much. Um, actually, that was not supposed to go there, but that's fine. It was in here. We'll put it up here. And put it in here. Okay. Uh, I guess we're not going to barter anymore. See ya. All right, so I'm looking for Gold Thirst. And I'm looking for Shack. I can remember Shaq. Okay, I'm in the spot where he wants to be, and I'm pushing him. So let's maybe go over here and see what else we can find. Let's talk to this dude. He's just another mountain man. Um, let's see what else we can find out. Oh, find Shaq and stuff. Okay. Let's just go find Shaq. Generic characters. Name, mountain man, job, guard. Who are you? Who be you? Okay, thank you. Oh, I'm gonna guess. This this looks like maybe gold thirst. Yes. Oh hey, Art 3A. Art 3A. Art 3A. Um for who but whoever asked about IBM, it is a lesser heel, by the way. Uh, my current spell, IBM, is actually in bet money. Go figure. All right, well met. Uh, should we say thank thee, O Dwarf King? Sure. Wow. Okay, that was unexpected. Uh, what does he want? I have need of such an adventure as myself. Our minds have been invaded by a terrible monster. Indeed. A hero at last. That's me, Trish the hero. Trish the bard, the hero. My people, at least those not too valuable to lose, are all too afraid of the beast to dare face it. It is a fearsome beast covered with tentacles and with many eyes. It does. It sounds exactly like that thing. If thou art brave enough and you slay the creature, I shall reward thee handsomely. Okay. We can do that, being a hero and all. He's got plenty of gold to give me, apparently. Let's, um, let's look at that. Okay, a sturdy door that we can maybe open? No. Um, actually, maybe we can use the key. We can, in fact, open the door. Ding! Oh, 
And there's a level down, okay? All right, I want to put that on the map. Here's a trick I learned from the, uh, the other game. Using letters and writing it off over here. Uh, okay, so that I can remember where I need to go. Instead of writing on top of my map and then being able to unable to read it. Okay, that's good to know. If I were just questing downward, I could I could go that way. Let's see what this is. This one just opens up. This door is locked. Now that I found a literally found a key lying on the ground outside, I can open these guys' doors and go into their bedrooms, apparently. And could conceivably, what is this? Looks like a flute. Yes, don't I have one of those? Maybe. Um, I may have one of those in the other uh, in the other game. Yeah, that's going to be a thing today. What I'd like to do is find more runes so I can cast more spells. That would be kind of cool. Dun, dun, dun. All right, who are you? Steel Toe. I have a boot name for you, dude. Yeah, they, they wouldn't be called, actually called Beholders. Let me look. See what I can see here. See if there's anything in the quick guide. There is not. There is not. Oh well. I should have the, the Adventures of Cabarrus or whatever open, but that's... I have the... Um, Keyboard shortcuts here, and I have the the sort of quick start guide or quick reference guide, which probably would have originally been printed as, as like a threefold thing um, that you could flip over. Uh, but I like I like having these things nearby just in case. There's another way to have the spell list. I should look and see what those things are called. Oh hey Ben Powell. <laughs> Pesky look holes. Who goes there? Oh, I'm Trish. Welcome in your fine British evening. What is thy business there? Um, sure, let's tell him. Oh, okay. I guess I don't know the password. Presumably I can find the password out if Maybe if I talk to this guy, or, or maybe if I solve their quest. Uh, okay, that still eluded me. I will do my best. Don't be a dick, gold thirst. All right, this maybe this is Shack. That is Mountain Man. Okay, let's go find Shaq. I'm gonna put myself in view mode so that I can, don't keep accidentally talking to these dudes because that's a mountain man. Um, that's a mountain man. I think Mellow refers to the fact that they won't attack you on site. All right, let's see if we can find Shaq. Mellow Mountain Man. Mellow Mountain Man. Because like, the I assume if I look at this dude, he'll say gold thirst, yeah. Huh. So, apparently... Uh, maybe I need to just get past gold, this dude. I'm going to save before I try that. Um, uh, no password needed. Alright, here we go, here we go. Let's see if we can get by, by this dude. See how dangerous that was. It might be like, I see a massive door. Can I just like open it? Of course, it's locked. Oh, it's locked, and that key does not fit. So where's, where's my dude? Where's my dude Shaq? Who everybody's like, oh, you should totally talk to Shaq. He's the man. Did I miss something on the map? Because this guy's not Shaq. And this guy's not Shaq. And there, these are, oh, that's the same dude. That's not Shaq. That's not Shaq. Where the heck is he, maybe? Huh. Uh, what a 
thought I would have found him. Did I miss something? Map says no. We're gonna go into the hall of the Dwarven King here. All right, this is. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the map, marking stuff too. Oh, maybe down here. I'm not too good at aiming the quill. Locked door. Okay. Oh, well, definitely force yourself to take a break from time time to time, because I can tell you, as a person who also has a hard time taking breaks, um, it is a good idea. All right, I guess I'll just talk to all the Mellow Mountain men in case one of them is Shaq. No, that's not true, because before I talk to... Uh, uh, where can I find this dude? Before I talk to Steel Toe, I knew his name was Steel Toe, so that's not how to do it. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go out... I'm sure we can... Oh, maybe he's up here in this part. Yeah, okay, so maybe I just haven't found him yet. There's some water here. Because every civilization needs a source of fresh water. Man, this part of it is massive. Look at all this space. Oh. Oh, looks like a secret door, doesn't it? I don't want to talk to it. I want to see if it's a secret door. Regular stone walls are very irregular. Okay. Ah. Braun Clan. Of course. Everybody knows Braun Clan. Another gray bearded folk. We have the folk. The folk they call themselves. Uh, be you an outcast from above or an outsider? Um, let's say that. Oh, I've heard of such a thing. The abyss is not such a safe place. Perhaps some other of the folk might know more about that. Uh, is there anything else I can help you with? Um, sure. Mind your manners. You won't have any trouble with us. Okay. Well met and farewell. Okay, there's, there might have been another way to get to here. So he's opened, basically opened this portcullis, which probably, um, probably was another way into this whole area, if he didn't find the key somehow. I'm pretty sure this was the door I came in. It's not, okay. Uh, wow, this is a kind of a bigger space. Uh, I don't want to talk to that. I don't want to put my lips on that. It's locked. How about that? Yeah. I am the master of unlocking. Alright, what is this? What are these? Sturdy barrels. Um, oh. An urn. Creepy. Uh, regular stone walls. Alright, well, I'm not going to steal their stuff. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm just trying to find our man Shaq. Okay. Um, I'm still nowhere near where I came in. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, can I just open it, please? Ding! Ding! Avon lady, doorbell's broken. No, oh, actually it's not, clearly. Alright, there's stuff. I don't want to steal their stuff. Um, I have a helmet, so I guess I'm cool. As far as that goes. Alright, so we came around here. And what does it say? Quarters of Corby. Good old Corby. Everybody's everybody's fan. Everybody's friend and, and mine. Oh, he doesn't look like a dwarf. Interesting choice for a language. I choose Spanish, Russian, or Chinese. Ah, uh, we're debating uh, side projects of language studies over there. Have you come to add to my torment? Uh, okay. Torment of lost hopes. Of disillusionment. What are you, freaking poet? Uh, I shared the great dream of Sir Cabarrus that the Avatar's way could be pursued by all folk. Oh, you walk in the path of Trish the Bard, I see. We sought to gather all intelligent species here in the Abyss and teach them to live in harmony. Uh, side by side on the piano keyboard, as it were. Alas, it was not to be. The constant bickering proved to be too much for kindly Sir Cabarrus, 
and he perished in his sleep. Some said he was poisoned, but I know he died of a broken spirit. His life's work was in this place, and as he watched it crumble, his heart broke and swell. Um, let's ask if anything remains of his dream. Uh, I, Sir Cabris, did gather a number of artifacts with interesting properties. Thought the use of these artifacts might assist the colonists as they pursued the way of the Avatar. Unfortunately, the objects were misused by the folk he hoped to help. How so? Each of the eight items gathered, these must be those talismans we learned of last time, gathered by Sir Cabris embodied one of the virtues, but those who now possess the items keep them merely for their intrinsic value, not their higher purpose. Um, well then, shall we say that we will find them, put them to proper use. Uh, okay, I guess that ends our conversation. Is there more to be said with this dude? Um, Tell me more of Sir Cabarrus. Uh, okay, sure, let's hear it again. <laughs> uh, I don't to, uh, let's try two. Interesting. None are truly hopeless. Perhaps I can get help the... Okay. Ah, people choosing Japanese for anime. Good choice. That was a reasonable reason to, to, uh, join, to learn a language. I think that's one of the best reasons to learn a language is to partake of some aspect of its culture. Um, and it's away. Orders of Mondor. Let's go talk to good old Mondor. Um, I don't want to use it. I want to talk to it. Stop moving, Mondor. Uh, okay, talk to Shaq. Okay. In some ways, I think, honestly, any language you learn helps you um, in any number of ways, but including business. And my thinking is, all right, well, I've got a whole area in here. i got to go back and finish checking out. I saw this room. I saw this room. I saw this room. I saw this room. I need to probably see what's up there and maybe the middle of this. So let's go see if we can find Shaq. I kind of did all the edges of the thing. I want to go north from here. Kind of do north. Do, do, do. Okay, let's go out here. All right, here's the kind of middle area. Oh, there's a fountain. Um, oh, who are you? Who are you? Oh, no, don't, don't go away. Oh, just another mountain man. Okay, where can I find Shaq? Like, so if you learn French, for example, um, that would help you um, in business in the sense that there's probably not tons of people who um, who know French and want to do business there and give you a bit of a leg up. So I think there's value in that. Uh, I don't want to talk to that, I want to use it. Gloves. I don't have any gloves. Maybe I should pick those up. Uh, I don't want to use it. I want to look at it. I got gloves. Excellent leather gloves. Piece of wood. Some crap. Oil flask. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab these gloves. Whoops. Grab these gloves. Put them on my hands. Presumably improve my armor class. Do, 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 do. If this is a game with armor class, I'm sure it is. Probably more like defense or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. So I haven't found Shaq, and I feel like I've left. 
I obtained level experience level five. I see a sturdy door. I feel like I should have gone and found Shaq. And that's a way up. Oh, interesting. Maybe we should go up and see where it takes us. What do you think? Let's see where we are. Oh, I sort of vaguely remember this. Let's put it on the map. Oh, okay, no, I haven't been here before. Let's just call it A. Um, and, oh, A down. Okay. All right, so we've been here before. I just didn't mark it. Cool, so that would be kind of the one of the ways you might find your way to these guys, and you could ask them to open the portcullis, so that makes sense. French and Spanish and German, mainly because being from the UK, so those are the most likely languages to encounter French and Spanish exchange student programs. Um, yeah, it's cool. Plus, the the Latinate languages are just kind of pretty. Oh, 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 oh. Evil acid slug. I kind of, I always expect this to like kill my. Okay, I think I got him. Um, to kill my sword, which I should look at. Oh, badly worn. Terrific. Put it away. Probably need some more. So I didn't find Shaq, and I left that area. I wonder if I should have done that. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, I missed. Okay, good. Gone. So there is definitely aesthetic pleasure to be had from those languages, just, just in and of themselves. Uh, but yes, I also like that you can write on the map, and playing Ultima Underworld 2, I took the opportunity to... Oh god, I'm lost already. Yeah, I want to I go, go back out and go... I want to see if I can find Shaq, who I have not found. This is the locked door where Steel Toe was, this... I expected him to be in this area. This is the entrance to the place. This is an uh, exit from the place. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put those both on the map as, uh, enter dwarves or mountain men. Um, and then right here is mines. Those are apparently like my footsteps or something. Um, it's so weird. Dum dum. Oh oh oh. And of course, that's the very natural sound that swinging a sword makes. Even a badly worn. Short sword, which is probably gonna break break at some point. I have to assume. Oh, what's that? No, not that. What's this? An unblemished sapphire. That seems like a thing I want. Um, sure, why not? some point. Let's see. Save running about level two. Okay, cool. Really though, what I'd love to learn is a programming language. I've dabbled in Java and Python, but I've never fully committed myself to learning more. friend when I was in grad school, Aiden Gilmartin, who uh, did martial arts with us. Uh, I say us, I mean me and my then 
uh, girlfriend or fiance. I don't know what stage we were when we met Aiden, but um, and he was learning kanji, and he was quite uh, quite adept. He spent a lot of time on it in the evenings um, to to get sort of comfortable with the language. All right, I'm totally lost. Uh, oh, it's a loop. That's why I'm lost. Okay, so north and west. Okay, good. For new areas. All right, and I believe this is new. Let's see, what do we got here? Good, yes, this is new. New is good. We'll go back to the dwarven area soon and uh, see if we can't find shack and then enter the mines. Oh, but here, a shrine. We will definitely put that on the map. Uh, call that E, I guess. E, and now we can level up. Yeah. I need grid snapping. Look at my uneven, this is killing my OCD. The biggest thing I think Gothic for learning, uh, and that kind of also speaks to what I was saying about learning natural languages, I think the biggest thing about learning a programming language is having a thing you want to do. Not learning just for the sake of learning it. Um, so let's speak to the shrine and level up. We have, let's see, there were three different things we could say. We could say Mu'am, which levels up our mana and lore, Sumra, our attack skills, or Omka, our practical skills. I am thinking uh, more mana and lore. Um, I don't know why there's a difference between capital and lowercase. Okay, advanced in mana and lore. I don't think I can advance anymore, but if I can, let's do some sum, some ra. Okay, I'm not ready to advance. That's what I thought. Okay, cool. I don't want to talk to that. I want to look. Let's see if there's a secret door. There's not. Okay, I found a shrine. That's cool. It is not shaped like the other one, though. Yes, Donnie is saying exactly what uh, I'm saying, which is make a thing. Don't do it just to do it. Make a thing. Same thing, I think, learning natural languages, like the whoever was saying they wanted to um, get into anime with it. That is the way to do it. Have a thing that you want to do, that you want to learn it for, and use that. And it's it's another good way to even like sense your progress, like that you're able to, you know, watch some anime that you found in, incomprehensible before. You know, that's that's a thing that's actually often quite difficult. Oh, I didn't mark this down. Um, I should have because. All right, let's do that too. F, F. Uh, stairs up. And I guess those are also here, maybe? Right? Yeah. Gotta be. Okay. Um, I don't think there's actually enough of a distinction between C and C++ to let that worry you, Art. Um, uh, I would personally, I mean, I will tell you, as a person who's programmed mostly in C++ in my professional career, I am now programming more in C than ever before. We actually had a conversation about this the other day, uh, yesterday, literally at lunch, uh, with with some of the old, some of the Bethesda programmers. I still see them quite frequently, and uh, oh boy, this looks scary. That's a really great visual effect. Um, and and I said, oh, I'm basically using no features of C++ anymore, and they're like, well, what about, you know, method functions in classes? Um, and I said, nope. And they were aghast. They could not believe it. They were just blown away. Um, I mean, I have my reasons, but uh, I just thought it was really funny that they couldn't even conceive that one would program without that stuff. Um, I do not miss it, to be honest. I actually find it's really good for API design to take yourself out of the C++ mindset. Um, okay, where are we going? Oh, we're going, maybe we're going lower and lower. 
Oh, that's quite a thing. I haven't seen something quite like that before, technically speaking. Can you see the roof? I wonder how that's achieved in this engine. That's really neat. Okay. Yeah, I guess technically, I mean, I'm definitely still using the C++ compiler, uh, Ben and Art3A. Um, I'm just, uh, whoops, I don't want to use it. I want to look. Yeah. Uh, I'm still using the C++ compiler. My file extension is, uh, generally speaking, CPP. I invoke the C++ compiler. So I'm not using strictly C, and I actually, I, I think the one thing I am using that is C++, um, that came from C++ is um, namespaces. I do use those a, a very little amount. It's mostly just for uh, wrapping enums so that they don't pollute the global. Oh, there's a headless. They don't pollute the global namespace. This thing's gonna kill me, isn't it? Man, it's hard to hit. Maybe it likes to be slashed. Uh, apparently not. Maybe it's just not easy for me to hit. Maybe I should have leveled up with s s Oh, he's damaging my stuff. I'm going to die. He, run he says as he bravely runs away. Um, maybe I'll switch to the cudgel. Probably should have used my IBM spell here, whatever that is. I don't remember what it is. Uh, lesser heal, I should probably use it, right? Yes, that's good. Man, these things are tough. Headless. Man, they're hard to hit. I gotta stand right up against them and beat on them. And even then I'm not hitting them very often. I'm gonna end up running away from this guy. Oh, I think it's time to run. Let's go. Because I don't think I have enough mana to cast that now. Alright, so let's make a note of this dude. He's gonna probably chase me all through the freaking dungeon. Um, okay. He bravely ran away. He bravely ran away, away. He bravely ran away. When danger reared its ugly head, he bravely turned his tail and fled. Brave, 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 brave. Trish. See, I'm a bard. Uh, let's see here. I think this is the way I want to go. Great. Uh, most professional programming, especially, so in the web, prof professional programming is in a handful of languages, uh, web web stuff. Um, oops, don't want to go that way. Um, and of course, I'm not a professional programmer for, for the web, so I have limited real information. Oh, dude, where are you? Oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, I know. Can I open the portcullis myself? Uh, can I? Can I unlock the portcullis myself? Um, hello. Can I talk to dude? No. What are my options here? Hmm. Well, I fled the headless. I've got in there maybe. Man, I didn't expect them to close it. Maybe I'll just go in here and see if I can rest. Let's see what happens. And we'll just close the door behind us. Whoa, ugh. that's pretty ugly. Maybe we can just close this. I don't want to talk to it. I want to, I, I know it's sturdy. Okay. Okay, I can't. 
Can't use the hinge. Ugh. It's so difficult to close doors. Why is it so hard to close doors? There we go. Oh, I just was too close. All right, maybe we can rest in here. What's the worst that can happen? Running about level two, okay. Hiding from the headless. Now let's try resting. Where is our bedroll? Bedroll, please. There we go. It's buried down here. Oh, I have a presume. What is presumably? I quaffed a potion. Great. Oops. Um, let us see what we got here. Uh, oh, that's Alfred and Sandra. I don't know why I'm still carrying that. Um, a bedroll. Excellent cudgel. Badly worn short sword. Broken mace. Okay. Some things do not really need to toss that in the world. This is an excellent cudgel. This is a badly worn cudgel. Clearly we want the excellent one. Uh, badly worn hand axe. Uh, we got that. Okay. Can we use this? Let's see what happens. Oh, the grim dude. I should collect all. Talk to the inhabitants of the abyss. Some are still civilized and can help. Final hope in this drama. I wonder if that's the ghost of Kabiris. Oh no, because he just referred to himself in the third person, if so. Huh. Alright. Um, I drank a potion. I didn't mean to. Uh, I don't even remember what that key does. Oh, man, I'm the worst. Alright. Let's see if we can go kill that headless now. Um, that's down here? Yeah. So I'll go east. Go east, young man. Wait for the entry. Presumably this is it. Yes. So what are you reverse engineering, Ben? Oh, here's a dude. Wow, it's, I don't know how I missed him. It's probably Shaq, too. Oh, it's Iron Wit. Me blueprints. Come back to me, others. No, that's not me blueprints. It's a human. Have ye me blueprints? I like me blueprints. Um... Oh, nice. No wonder you're so excited. <laughs> uh, that's fun, a clever little idea. Based on like the Zelda one, I assume. <laughs> like the Legend of Zelda, which, whichever one we played. Uh, uh, which one do we play? <laughs> God, I'm terrible. Link to the past. Sorry, I just realized my treadmill was still turned on. No need for that. Uh, find me blueprints. Ah, that would be a good deed indeed. Somewhere about in the storeroom most likely. The southeast of my complex. Is that where the storeroom is? Here I'll give you a set of blueprints of the area. Uh, I would be happy to. Um, in the storeroom I think of the blueprints but you cannot fly, can you? That's a problem. The storm is high up. There's a flying potion somewhere in the spiral room, but that's locked. The trouble... Oh, man. Wow, this guy's crazy. Good find help at all, mate. <laughs> Jeez, this guy. Um, green. Green is good. Red is rotten. Oh, man. This guy's going to be... Uh, Okay, I will follow his directions as best I can. Going into every room, unique register values for each item drop. Yeah, that sounds like a whole thing. I'm gonna go kill this headless. You know what? I should not be using a um, 
It occurs to me I should use the sword no matter what because my cudgel skills are bad. I should be doing that no matter what, even if it's in bad shape. Um, this is not right. Oh, I went the wrong way. That's why. Man, this place is confusing. It's like some kind of abyss. Yeah, I would agree with going that way. The PC version is the is the better part of va Valor. It's certainly going to be easier to. Uh, I don't want to talk to that. I don't want to put my lips on that. The door is locked. How about that? That key does not fit. All right. Well, maybe the headless will drop a key when I kick its butt. Going down, headless. Headless one. I can find you again, you're totally going down. I feel like you were over here somewhere. There he is. Oh, he's like, oh, it's you. I am terrible at hitting this dude. Stab him. Stab him already. Wow, he's like so hard to hit. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm gonna kill this guy and we gotta get level up just on that. Power of the green globe. They're creepy looking critters, I have to say, the headless. Ugh. That's another thing in Ultima Underworld 2. There's some of these on the first level too. Alright, nice. My short sword, short sword was damaged. Big surprise. All right, I'm assuming this is just debris, and I can't like, yeah. Now I picked it up. I don't want it. Okay. I mean, once you've actually done it this way and written the code, you could conceivably actually hack whatever version you wanted. Um, I don't really need a leather cap, I presume. No, my, my cowl is serviceable. Alright, let's see where we are here. Okay. Serviceable boots. Oh, I should probably pick those up since I don't have decent boots. Oh no, not another one. Naturally, he's hostile. I've never seen a friendly headless, have you? I have to keep an eye on my health. Um, this is a Advantage 2 from Kinesis keyboard. I will hold it up in a moment when the um, headless is dead. Anyway, keyboard is this uh, Kinesis, Advantage 2 by Kinesis. You should be able to see it, more or less. Um, so it has basically these punched in keys that are better suited to the lengths of my fingers. Uh, the weirdest thing is that those keys in the center parts are all the normal keys that would be under your, your pinkies, 
things like Control and Alt, Home, Home and End, which would normally be kind of over here and hit with whatever. Um, page up, page down, Control, Alt, Windows key, Backspace, and Delete, as well as Space, Enter uh, on the right side. So it's it, it has been a strange thing to get used to, I will say. I'm, I'm certainly not entirely used to it yet. Um, I do use it on my standing desk. I did not have to adjust the height. Um, I was previously using uh, a fairly slim keyboard, um, although I had these things up, I think. Uh, I was using this Microsoft keyboard. Uh, oops, gravity. Uh, just a simple wireless keyboard. I don't know why I'm bothering trying to keep this in, but um, I don't really care if I hear this game all that much, except if I get attacked. But yeah, I use it on my standing desk. Um, it's been no big deal. I didn't have to change the height at all. It is higher, um, but my arms are at a pretty natural position. Um, they are maybe a little extended out then would be perfect. You might want it to be a little closer to your body, but that's kind of unavoidable because the it being part of a treadmill desk, I've got this, uh, like the electronics for telling you how many calories you've burned and how many steps you've taken and things like that are all basically at my waist and my belly. If I get thinner, I'll be able to get closer. So uh, that would be nice. That would be a good outcome. All right, let's go west. Go west, young man. That's north. Uh, oh, did I just come from the west? That's west. On the third day of my imprisonment, my guess is that it's night. I guess we want to go west. I kind of want to see what, what else is other places, but let's see what we get here. OK, yeah, so there's nothing down here. Uh, da, 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 da. So we, yeah, we were coming back the way we had came. All right, let's see what's over here. So no, I haven't had to make any adjustments. Um, you know, it's also just USB, and uh, I take it upstairs to work on the laptop if I'm going to be working on the laptop any significant amount of time. I'll be doing that a little bit later today. I have, I have uh, a thing to do for Kama. Um, I'll either do that today or tomorrow. I haven't really decided. Okay. All right, looks like we've done what we can do down here. But we're like on the lower level of this thing. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, and here's a dead end. Okay. Okay. All right. I still have not found Shaq, and I haven't found this dude's blueprints, and he's like, oh, get the potion. I love the little dragon animations, and the gargoyle, I think, sometimes changes expression as well, um, maybe less frequently, but yeah. So what kind of shape I'm in here? I'm a sixth level bard with 14 mana, that's good. Now I should be able to heal myself a couple times, I guess. And I've got 23 out of 52. I should probably heal myself since mana comes back. Um, 43 out of 52, it looks like my lesser heal is worth 10 points um, and costs 6 to cast. That's quite expensive. I wonder how they determine the costs. Maybe the second circle is just cost 6. Let's go all the way back through here. Remember there was a turn off somewhere. It's here. Yeah, that I didn't go down. Let's see what's in here. Maybe there's another freaking headless. Uh, Thirteen crossbow bolts. Sure, let's pick those up. Uh, I know I see those. Uh, uh, pick up all thirteen. Uh, sure. And put them in here. Okay, good. 
I got some crossbow bolts. That'll probably come in handy if I ever find a crossbow. Flying is one of those weird design things. Like, I know it was... It's it's one of the ways that you can typically break some RPGs. Um, let's look at the quality of this. Oh, yeah. Let's throw that out over there and put that in here in case we... I mean, if you're going to have a dagger, it might as well be an excellent one. That's a tricky... It's a totally tricky design space because um, it's also tough on performance because... Um, let's look at these. Serviceable versus badly worn. Oh, yeah, let's toss those and pick up these serviceable ones. Um, um, because now, of course, you have to have, like, rooftops for everything. Oh, geez, another headless. You're going down. Headless. Oh, you're you're going to hit me a bunch first, I can see. Oh, you moved. Stinker. Playing my rhythm combat game here. Oh, there goes that. I guess we'll switch to this. What's going on here? Oh, I fell out of combat. That's weird. My cudgel skill must be terrible. Oh. Look how enraged the gargoyle is. Arr, you're totally in combat. I hope there's not another one behind me beating on me at the same time. I should have saved at some point recently. Because I'm going to end up running away again. And I'm going to be like, what happened? Because I can't cast... Everything is, uh, I don't have enough mana. Maybe I can, like, what's my status? Currently fed and wide awake. Maybe I can eat that. I see three plants. Can I eat the plant? Plant is quite good. It doesn't seem like it brings back any mana. Oh, I will be singing. The Greatest American Hero the theme. Believe it or not, when we get there. I mean, because who could it be? Who could it be? What is this? Um, that's great. There's a thing there. I, oh, it's 13 arrows. Okay. This thing, this game actually, I think, won't let you... Oh, here's the thing about thin objects in your world. They're hard to pick up. Oh, 13, please. Um, and just drop them in there. I'm starting to get full up on stuff. Um, hey, Moss. Uh, I thought it was interesting during those fights with the headless thing where the visual and audio feedback didn't match up. Um, yes, and hello. Indeed, hello. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on there. It's, um, it's definitely not my favorite combat. Uh, I understand why they don't make it kind of front and center more. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not, it's kind of gnarly. I'm going to look and see if I have a decent sword in here somewhere. There's one. Badly worn. It's better than this. Um, let's put that up here and put that in here with the other weapons of war. I wonder if it's like yeah, I've only got three mana. God, it's gonna take me a while to generate enough mana to keel up a little bit. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. Chat, Ryan here worked with me uh, on Starfighter or Jedi Starfighter. I can't actually remember, and every time he comes in, I can't remember. I feel like it was probably Jedi Starfighter. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
How's it going? Well, I'm getting worked by this savage headless beast. I'm gonna actually save. Um, call it more headlessness. And next time through, I'm gonna start using numbers to indicate how far I am. I think I'm better with a sword. Yes. All right. Owned. All right. Where's my money? Where's my money at? In here? Nope. In here? Nope. In here? Nope. Okay. Don't know where the money went. I don't know where my money's at. Not in there, not in there, not in there. It might be in here. Nope. Uh, and it's definitely not in there. Or maybe I don't have any? Or maybe it just, huh. Um, all of them. I want all of them! Okay, put it in there. Okay, I have five apparently. Do they? Do they say I'm better with an axe? One with an axe. Oh, I thought I had better sword skills. Well, then I should definitely be using an axe, shouldn't I? Good eye. Wow, I didn't even see that. I thought for sure I was better with a sword. I don't know why I thought that. Oh, I do know why I thought that. I thought that, uh, I mean one, because I'm an idiot, but I thought that because I've been playing uh, Ultimate Underworld 2, and there I'm playing a paladin. Uh, okay, so somewhere in here, somewhere in this mess of crap, there's an axe. There it is. Alright. We shall... We shall switch to that. That is a good idea. Okay. How's our mana doing here? Now we have six. We'll heal up a little bit more. Now I feel a little bit better. Alright. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, well, we've gotten to the end of that. Nothing to see here. Okay, so now we gotta try to find my way back, and I don't have a key. Dun, 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 dun. Come all the way back out. Man, this map is convoluted. No, oh, <laughs> except that it's mostly not even shown. How crazy it is. And I wonder why not. And I can't like draw on the map. For people who like um, who like games with uh, with maps in them, I can recommend the. Uh, what the name of that thing? I actually happen to have the art book for it down here, nearby. Uh, Etrian Odyssey, which I played on the. Um, DS. What did I play? This is like the fourth one, maybe? Forests of Eternity? I don't know what that means. Um, it's a lot of fun. Oh, Etrian Odyssey 3, The Drowned City. Um, and I've got this huge book of character art and I guess some backgrounds. I don't know why I haven't just thrown this thing away. Um, but I'm going to leave it here so that I remember to just throw it away. Uh... But I really dug the fact that you had, so that was a game which, when I say it's a map game, um, literally one of the screens is, uh, allows you to draw the map on it. Um, it's fairly simple, it's like you can just put a wall down on a side. Um, I don't think you can even do any notation as, like this. You might be able to put little icons down, that might be a thing. I can't remember because it's been several years since I played it. I was probably playing it back in 2012 or so. Uh, fun game though. I quite liked it. JRPG-ish. So if you hate JRPGs, eh, you're probably not going to particularly love it. But I did like I did like the feeling of making maps. It's one thing that's kind of been lost. Um, is that there's really something about actually hand drawing a map while you're playing a game. Or other notes. Um, things like that. There's a, there's a real pleasure in that. 
Um, all right, I'm gonna go and see what's off this direction because uh, we didn't. All right, I guess the left hand on the wall. Let's see what's out over here. Oh, we're gonna climb. Boom, 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 boom. We'll center of the view. Oh. Okay, it looks like I can jump that way. Uh, let's go. Oh, okay. I guess we just saved that. Let's um, save it as a name that matters. It makes sense. Pre jump. Like that. Oof. Oh, cool. I'm in one of these rooms. Oh, my candle went out. I wonder it's so dark. Um, sure. Let's see what's in this room. Make sure that. Oh, what? Happily, uh, oh, looks like I can get resurrected all the way back here. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do here. Do I want to just. Maybe I just want to restore. I kind of just want to restore and see what happened there. Something killed me, and now I'm curious to know what it was. Oh, and there I missed it. That's because I jumped backed up a little bit. What, what, what happened in here? All right, I threw this. Um, I just want to know. I walked over that way. Maybe there's a trap? Maybe that's lava? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's lava. That might... Oh, here's some bad things. So let's fight them. These are like rot worms or something. into I think that must be lava weird I think I just walked on stuff that was bad to walk on gotta get owned gross thing uh, okay here's another box I guess we'll put it in another box <laughs> put the box inside a box oops good job oh and there's nothing in the box Okay, um, I think we'll put it back in the world because who really needs to carry around an empty box, am I right? Yeah, I think this must be poison or lava or something. Weird. Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age. Man, I, I really love that. I'm, I'm gonna go back and play it actually because I'm an idiot. Um, oh, a key. Oh, good. I should put all my keys in one one thing. Maybe I'll put all my keys in here. Uh, okay, I want all eight of these to go and go up here. I'll put all my keys in the bag together. All eight of them go into here to the weapons of war box and right this is where the keys are going because otherwise I end up uh, not knowing where anything is okay I did uh, did I hmm I guess I'll put this here down here what is this it's a pouch oh with a gem in it okay I guess that's also a gem right red gem Ruby. Um, didn't I just pick up one of those somewhere? Yeah, let's put that in the pouch. Like that. Okay, good. It's kind of out of space there. These maybe should go with the keys. It's a lock picking thing. Good. Oh, what a pain in the butt. Um, this is my dearest Alfred. 
who knows if we'll run into Sandra. Uh, all five, please. I'm sorry, it's not really all that fun to watch me reorganize, reorganizing my inventory. Okay, now I've got a bunch of keys in one place. And I've got a key to a door I didn't have before. That's good. That is probably what I need for the other side. We should go see. Hey, hello again. An ad for the tick. I'm sorry about the ad for the tick. I have nothing to do with that. Oh yeah, we gotta save here before I jump again. Because the jumping's bad. Okay, but I'm getting better at it. Player skill. My player skill is increasing. All right, I'm gonna guess that that's actually the key for the door at the bottom here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I have to say, that is one of the things that, uh, you know, having worked on a couple RPGs, that is just a hard to solve problem. How to manage inventory. You go with, I mean, obviously this game is prehistoric as far as a lot of these issues go, but, um, you know, we had, even with Skyrim, you know, there's a lot of stuff, uh, and it's really, oh, there's another key, great. Um, so that we go in there. <clears throat> how about that? Uh, yellow gems, how about using it on the door? Yes, I knew it. Oh, and there's that red potion he was talking about. Oh, and that other potion. Oh boy, where do I put them? The where do you put stuff problem. Well, I guess I put them both in here. Uh, I might have to talk to him again because I didn't really follow what he said. He seemed to say like the green one maybe is what you use. I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah, sorting buttons are really helpful. I mean, certainly that's, uh, like, you know, any game where you're going to have a ton of stuff, it's really difficult. And I guess we just added a bunch of sorting and categories. Um, I think that it's also nice to have, like, uh, an icon indicating a thing is new. Um, it's good to be able to sort on lots of categories, but then that's, like, a lot of management. You can't tell, you know... Part of an RPG is like having the right thing for the right situation, so you can't necessarily tell what the best item is. So there's that. Um, there may there may be no sense of a best item. It's just a million issues. It's just a hard problem. All right. So is it possibly above me? It does not appear to be above me. Is it possibly over there that he's talking about? Man, like, ugh. Yeah, yeah, agreed with all those things. I mean, you, you, you need management tools, basically, for your large amount of data. Um, but there are some things that, you, that you'd like to have that are just not practical. There's no best weapon, there's no, you know, things like that are just, are just hard problems. Um, all right, do I wanna t try with this dude and the flying? Um, I feel like what's going to happen is I'm going to go over, uh, let's see, I went all the way down here, got the key, got the thing, got the potions here, um, got this dude, go up here and I can go around, Oh, I feel like maybe, did I? I guess I must have gone over there. It felt like you could maybe fly from here, but maybe not? I don't know. I don't really understand this guy's deal. So, I'm going to just mark him on the map for now. And say... Um, dude who wants... Blue prints. And I'll remember that. Color coordinating is good. Um, it can be sometimes uh, not great just because uh, like it might disturb some other aesthetic that's going on. Uh, but yeah, in general, totally agree. 
Right, let's see what's down here. I totally didn't understand what that guy was talking about. All right, I guess we'll go right. Maybe we can hook back up over here. I kind of like to hook back up with this to go back in and look for our buddy Shaq some more. Um, oh, I should heal myself because my man is back up. Yeah, so greats like this in Ultima Underworld 2, I mean, can't go through these, but... Um, in the water you can actually go through them, which is cool. I, it kind of happened randomly. I was swimming and I kind of bumped up against one. I was like, oh, and I'm in another place. Nice. Okay, I'm going the opposite of the direction I wanted to go. So let's go back that way. Let me try going up here. All right, well, where are we now? Uh, aha! Okay, so going left here would have taken me to F which is where I came from originally. I think I'm gonna go in there and just try to find a place to sleep um, and heal all my mana and stuff. Even though I'm wide awake, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't bother. Oh, there's the stairs up. Okay, I kinda got confused there. Going north, going west. And then this takes me Back up there. Okay, good. Follow. Um, let's go the other way and see what happens. Because we got the mines. They're like, Shaq should be able to help you. <laughs> card catalog. Oh my god. Man, I loved the card catalog when I was a kid. Um, actually, recently. Uh, oh, okay, so we're at the end of that. I actually recently read a book. I read Rokanon's World. Um, Ursula K. Le Guin's first published um, novel and uh, it had a card catalog it had those one of those things that they used to punch uh, or stamp and put put in the back for like due date uh, it was so good one of those index card holder type deals they were a little bit firmer than an index card they were they were sort of like um, Whoa, 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 skeletons, skeletons, skeletons. Oh, whoa, whoa. You're going down, skeletons. Except I'm not in combat. I'm probably going down at this rate. Yeah, skeletons are harder to hit than I'd like. Um, I really want to slash at them, don't I? I love how there's no blood from the skeletons. Pay attention to detail. Okay, there's one. It's going down. Skeleton man, you're gonna die. Or undie. Or something. It was unexpected to find them in here. They're just like demolishing all my crap. Oh, I'm getting worked. Okay, hopefully there's no more. No more. Okay, so what did they drop? A decent sword. Uh, okay, let's do a look. Badly worn, badly worn. Bones, bones, bones. Badly worn. Skull, bones. Badly worn leather cap. Aha, uh -huh, but some other stuff. Oil flasks. Ooh, a nearly full lantern. Oh, that's what the oil flasks are for. All right, so we're gonna figure out where we're gonna put our oil flasks. Uh, I'm get oh here with the other oil flasks apparently. Uh, okay, so let's pick those up. It feels like a lantern would be better than uh, the alternative. What is this? Three spikes. There's got to be some reason for them. So let's pick them up, and we will definitely pick up the lantern, and we shall light it. Oh, nice. Look at that. Look at the beauty. Serviceable leather boots versus serviceable leather boots. I think we're good. Okay. Oh, so much better lit now. Winning. A punch card in an old library book? My, my dad probably uh, left it there. My dad programmed on those things. He used to have a ton of them 
I don't, I don't actually know why he had them, but he had a bunch in the in our garage. Probably no particular reason. Probably had just. Killed it? Yes. Yeah, we, uh, so my dad, my dad had tons of them, um, because he programmed in them. Programmed with them, rather. Alright, what is this? This looks like a, uh, let's go to, can we do that? An undamaged crown. Uh, Dabu? Um, alright. I guess we'll pick up the crown. See, if you go to pickup mode, then you get the easy to read icon. I guess we'll put it there. Um, and we'll go looking for where the money is. Okay. Um, pick that up and put it in here. Let's look and see. We got a pickaxe, a rock hammer. Do we need a rock hammer? I have no encumbrance left. So I guess we really hopefully don't need one. How am I doing? I'm currently fed and wide awake. Office theft of a uh, punch card? I'm guessing not. Uh, Warren Chain Cowl? Warren Chain Cowl, okay. I'm not getting a lot of benefit from killing monsters here. pretty worked you know, through all that combat. I think it is time to go back to our dwarven friends here and find a place where I can throw my bedroll down. Hey, did I go over here? I did. Oh, these are people's rooms. So maybe I can just like sleep here. Let's see. Not that one. This one. This one. Uh, except I have to use it. Good. All time is a wasting. You must get yourself a going. Oh, I forgot to put on my lantern. Lantern, oh no! You're right. Oh well. I can help you with the task. I always forget that. So now everything's burnt out. Ugh, I'm such an idiot. All right, well, toss that over there. Uh, there was another place where there was some oil, so hopefully. All right, uh, just one, I guess. Can I use that on that? No. Um, how do you combine them? Uh, like that, I guess. Okay. Well, thanks for the reminder. Tiny bit late, sadly. Everything seems all healed up again, more or less. Yeah, 46 out of 56. I should probably go back to the shrine. Uh, I'm going to start doing this, going back to shrine. If I can keep track of stuff. Yeah, that's true, stream delay. Definitely, probably the cause. All right, so I, I've been around here. I never did find our dude Shaq. Who's this? Who is this? Who is this? He's a friendly mountain man. Let's talk to him. Oh, he's just another mountain man. Um, sure, let's barter. He's got money and food. Let's see. Maybe I could buy some more food. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, I have no idea what things should cost. Um, guessing I'm getting an even deal. Uh, I'll try this offer. Okay, sure. Let's try some more. Um, terrible deal. So I'll make you this offer. He doesn't like this deal either. Okay, whatever, dude. I'll take my money back, thank you very much. I see my gold is no good here. 
I'm not really getting the whole uh, barter stuff. Not working well for me. All right. I thought that might be Shaq. It was not. So we are without. We are still Shackless. I'm almost tempted to just go see what the mines are like. Shack or no. Oh, who's that? Shack or no Shack? Who's this? Okay. I know I should probably uh, talk to Shaq, shouldn't I? I'm not killing nobody and taking no food. I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not that kind of avatar. Alright, let's look at our map. Is this the way out? It is. Alright, I think what I'm going to do... Uh, the shrine is way up here. I should probably go do that. So I probably should have gone out that door. So I'll do that. Go to the shrine. Level up, because uh, I can do that. So let's go do that. Let's run up here. Now that we know how everything connects, it will be easier to get back. Sadly, Biff here is not going to be any help but uh, of letting us back in. That's okay. Uh, we'll go back running into here. Woo -doo 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 -doo. At least every level has a freaking shrine. Because that would be a pain in the butt. Alright. Don't, 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 okay. All right, what do you think, folks? I'm thinking maybe some more strength and maybe a little more magic. I could always use a little more magic. So I think I've got two levels leveled up here. Uh, so let's do, what is it, Sumra first? Sumra. Soon Sumra will rule the world. Attack, unarmed, and axe. Okay, my axe is better. Um, and I also want to chant again, Moo Um. Oh, yeah. And I'm pretty sure that was it. Um, but in case it wasn't, let's try Om Ka. Aha! I had another level. Acrobat, appraise, sneak, and traps. Oh, there are traps. Um, and this has got to be it, but let's go ahead and put some more Sumra. Okay, I'm not ready. Good. Excellent. Man, I'm digging the lantern. Look at that lighting. It's amazing. I can see three whole grid squares. Is it this way? And then this way. Whoops. Um. Oh, too far. Do, 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 do. Yeah, way better than that candle I was using. That's pretty much useless. All right. Okay, come out here. Um, which way is quicker? I guess I can just go straight and then uh, see what's down and around here. So let's go do that. 46 out of 56. Could be better. What is my skill with an axe now? It is now 2. So funny thing about numbers is that you just you read two and you're like two, <laughs> just not exciting. You want like uh, big big numbers like um, I'm a thousand because obviously it's really no different. I think that's just debris, right? Another bench. Benches all over the place. The skeleton the skull. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a boulder. All right, so that's like this grand staircase. So we actually have sort of a sense of where we are relative to the other stuff. Oh, and another stairs down. All right, let's look at the map. And stairs down are A. So put another A there, um, which is, of course, hard to see because of the shadow of the map pin. Thank you, Brian Taylor, for pointing out that that's what that was last week. Because I would have had no idea. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm a little worried there's going to be some combat around the next corner. Do to do. 1985 Zapper? I don't know what that is. Oh, here's a goblin? Uh, let's try talking to him first. 
Oh, he doesn't want to be talked to. So he's going down. His blood's gonna be all over this corridor. Oh, that's good. There's another one. Oh, there's three. I knew there was gonna be dudes around that corner. So we're gonna go over here. I don't wanna get I don't wanna get to fight them in a place that's not advantageous for me. Gray goblins. At one time, this would have been difficult for me. Yeah, try that, sling boy. See how that works for you. I haven't really taken much damage, I don't think. Urgh. Look how mean that guy is. Ugh. With his big, gray, ugly face. Ugh. My leggings are damaged. I just bought those leg warmers. Man, these guys are tough. Boy. Mm. Ah, the gun, right, okay. Nice. I thought we were talking about like a bug zapper. Because <laughs> you were talking about lighting. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna run away from these guys. See what we got over here. Dude's got some money, okay. So nothing really to be excited about. Wading into combat here. Just taking on all the goblins. I would have just talked to you guys, but instead I have to murder you all. So, how unfortunate for you, really. When you think about it, you could have just said hello. You could have bartered. You could have bartered for your life, really. And instead, you're getting owned. Where's the other dude? Running away like a coward, I hope. He is. And he is indeed. Oh, and that's why. So you're getting it owned. All right. All right. Food bucket, gold bucket. Uh, I guess we can put that away. Let's move all four coins. Oh man, I'm rich. There's a fish. I must be getting hungry. Currently hungry. We should probably eat. Let us eat uh, this day old meat. We gotta put our mouth on it. Yum. Tasted kind of bland. Uh, okay. Fed and wide awake. All right, let's look at these. I cannot talk to that. Of course I can't. Worn leather leggings. Serviceable leather leggings. Uh, this guy dropped some money as well. So should pick up his money. There's some stones, but I think I'm gonna end up dropping those. Um, let's pick up those three stones. Three. And put them here, they go in here. Good. Oh, except somehow I picked up one. Okay, that's fun. Okay, good. All right, well, I picked up all the money. Uh, let us see here. Still have a CRT to play with newer LC LCD TVs, can't play it. Uh, no, because I don't think it can pick out the colors as well or something. How does that work? I knew this at one time. Is that an axe? Or is it a broken axe? I don't care about the dirt floor. It's a broken axe. Um, uh, uh, okay, I don't care about the cudgels because I'm better with the axe. Um, I guess I should pick up this food. Oh, it's too heavy. I'm full up on stuff. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm probably not going to need the sling stones. So I'm gonna take those and toss them because I didn't find that very useful. Um, that freed, freed up a space. A worn small shield, a worn wooden shield. What's the difference? We don't know. Um, I don't know why I'm carrying both, but I am. Uh, I'm going to keep the candles. Uh, recipe for worm stew, I think I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep the torch. I'm definitely going to keep the keys uh, and the oil and the spikes. I think I'll toss the sling. 
Um, I've got all this money, but that doesn't really help me. Uh, we got this crown. What else have I got? I don't have a lot that I can toss, really. Some food. Use poor for large jumps, so I know a spell? Yeah, it doesn't look like that's actually on the spell list. Ah, good. Thank you for the link. I will check it out later. Um, I actually knew that at one time. Uh, use poor is long a big jump. <coughs> I actually knew that at one point. Uh, I read up on the technology of it, uh, but it's it's entirely gone. I had uh, it's definitely got to do with the brightness of the TV. Yeah, it's just been it's just been a long time. All right, let's put that in there. All right, so we still got some room for food. Okay. Oh, there's another gray goblin. Another another person who's about to die. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't apparently get in there. Follow me this way, because I can't apparently get near you because of this barrel. Oh, oh, smash. My overhand smash move is going to totally work you. Come on. What's this barrel? Can I not get past the barrel? I can't apparently get past the barrel. How lovely is that? I'll just go around and kill you from this side. I can't kill you from this side. <sighs> Alright, well, what do we got here? Let's put that away. Got some excellent leather gloves. Those are probably better than... Oh, those are also excellent. And that looks like trash. There's a bow. I've got all those arrows. I'm probably not going to use a bow. And I've got this gem. And I feel like I should keep the gems. Reason being... Do those stack? They do. Reason being, I feel like I'm going to at some point need to trade. Alright, let's go work this guy. <clears throat> I can't get past this barrel. Okay. Can't. Get, uh, why can I not get past this barrel? Is there any way to move the barrel? Can I just break the barrel? Um. Hmm. Let's see what's happening to the barrel. It's damaged. I guess we'll break it so that I can move into this room. I'm not a huge fan of weight limits. I'm also not a fan of this barrel. Um, it's badly damaged, so I am doing some work to it. Okay. Goodbye, barrel. Okay. Uh, whoops. What is this? A red potion. So we don't know what that is, really. Uh, that looks like an excellent light mace. Um, but I can't carry a light mace. Um, well, presumably I don't want to, because uh, I'm not very good with them, am I? I'm only good with axes, right? Yeah, I'm no good with maces, so I want axes, and I don't really want to pick up other stuff. Okay, so I'm starting to get, get better about, like, what things I actually want in my inventory. Um, oh my goodness, 16 coins, I probably can't carry them. Worn small shield, serviceable wooden shield, worn wooden shield. Okay, let's do this. Let's also do that and pick up this one. Good, and now I have a little room in my inventory um, to pick up the 16 coins, which presumably uh, will come in handy. Let's get all 16 and put them here. Okay. Presumably that will come in handy at some point. 
I see lots of uh, irregular stone walls. They surround me. Okay, but nothing uh, worth checking out there. Yeah, I wonder if you could, if I could have jumped. I didn't even think about doing that, jumping the uh, barrel. Oh well, barrel's gone now. All right, we found ourselves some uh, dudes to kill, and we killed them. Can you scroll back on the scroll? It does not appear that you can. Can you page up? It does not appear that you can. Okay. Third day of our imprisonment, and we've done so much. Should I pick up that fish? I think I'm okay. So actually, one of the things I've, I've talked about, um, I talked about Martian dreams and stuff like that on the uh, on the pod. But one thing I did not like about those games was resource management. Um, I don't think that it substantially adds to a game to add food. Uh, and that one. Martian dreams, you're on the surface of Mars, and because of the, the air, obviously, there was no atmosphere, of insig insignificant oxygen to breathe. Um, you had to chew this, like, oxygenated bubblegum type stuff. It was dumb. Uh, will this put out my lamp? It will not. All right, let's see what we can find. Yeah, it was this like blue stuff that you had to eat and you had to pick up like 20 pieces of it at the beginning of the game and you had to eat it. And then a big part of the early game is to find this old Martian machinery to turn on to, um, uh, to basically return oxygen to the air. I wonder if we can go through these grates. They have holes. Maybe we can. Let's check it out. Oh, uh, we can't. We just got water swamping in. Okay. Martian Dreams uh, was a PC game. Um, and you can play it in DOSBox through GOG. Uh, it is actually a game in which a pixel art uh, war inspector appears. He's in the intro. I don't think he goes to Mars with you. I think he's talking to you as the avatar here on Earth is what I remember of that. Someday I'll get back to that one. I, uh, oh, oh, it's one of these swimming things. I'm gonna get away from it, because I can't fight it. But maybe now that it's found me, I can fight it over here. Can I? Come on. Come on, you wimp. Come on, come and get me. I think that's called a lurker, is that right? No, hostile lurker, yeah. Hmm, come on, come get me. Come and get me. Yeah. All right, well, if I were a stronger swimmer, I would go swim past that thing, but I'm not. Well, what do we do here? It seems like we've got a whole bunch of stuff not explored over here. Oh, and I went under a bridge? So it seems like maybe we definitely want to go over here. So let's go do that next. Oh, nice. I the Beholder. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to pick those up because I don't think I have them. I'm going to go west. Uh, oh, oh, hey. Another one of these dudes who wants to be murdered. Poor dude wants to be murdered. What a weird desire. I can tell he wants to be murdered because he engaged me. He was all hostile. Uh, I'm going to walk you into this corner and then I'm going to kill you. Oh, and we're going to knock the boulder around, apparently. Oh, goodbye. Uh, nothing I want. But I am experienced a little late. Alright, where were we going? Taking a left. And going all the way down here. This, I think, is a corner. So we're gonna go around here. We did mention Eye of the Beholder. Tim's a huge fan of those uh, games in particular, and as he mentioned, he's more of an isometric fan than. Um... Oh, it looks like we can take a left here. Well, I guess we'll go left here first. 
So yeah, we totally mentioned those. Um, I guess we'll drag that over here and see what's in it. Uh, torches, those are probably worth having. And incense, that's a weird object that I guess I will hold on to, because who knows. Alright, left hand on the wall. See, that looks totally like a secret door. Right. So we're striking out into a different area of the map. Oh, I should probably heal myself some. How am I doing? 33 out of 60. Oh, yeah, let's get that up. 38. And 46. 2 out of 20 mana points. Yeah, definitely, uh, uh, definitely heard about Grimlock. I had um, Jean Simonet, a, a former Bethesda dude who worked for me there, um, also quite liked Grim Grimlock, Grimrock, Grimlock, Gridlock. Can we just open it, please? We can. All right, let's see what we can find in here. Left hand on the wall. If there's any monsters in here. They are very quiet, there might be monsters. Alright, mushrooms I'm gonna leave for now. Oh, let's mark them on the map. Uh, uh, H, I guess. H, gray, plus, where's my plus? Plus green mushrooms. Okay, I don't know what that means. Grimlock the Transformer. Now that's where you guys have me at a disadvantage. I know nothing about Transformers. Except that I hear they're more than meets the eye. And that Autobots wage their battles to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. A mandolin, a pack. Well, let's see. I guess we'll put this in here. We're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna see what's in the pack. It's too heavy for me to pick up. Yay! Um, I guess we'll take the lock pick, put it there. So I can't pick that up. I can, however, make it spam messages. All right, we'll put. Um, what can we do? Maybe what we should do is drop some stuff out of here. Like, we're not going to use the sword. Probably not going to use the dagger. Almost certainly not going to use the crossbow bolts. Um, and I'm just going to put this on our map that we did this here. How much space did that free up? Six. All right, hopefully now we can pick up the backpack. We can. Uh, thanks. Uh, it looks like it's food and torches. Pick up all four. Put them here. What is this? Flask of port. Bottle of ale, some corn. All right. So where are the torches? Where be the torches? Uh, how about all four of them again? Like the default feels like it should be sp to to um, drag the whole pile. All right, uh, corn we can take out. Yes, both of it. And that split should be some kind of separate action, but there isn't really a separate action. Oh, good! I ate the corn. Tastes the kind of bland. All right, let's keep moving. That is true, I have no instruments, do I? I wonder if I can automatically like play them, and what happens? I didn't even think about that. Let's put it here. I see a mandolin. Um, let's use it. Oh. Okay.
Wow, it's like not even a scale. Oh yeah, it is. Here we go. Kind of tough to do with numbers. <laughs> oh boy, a bit rough, no doubt. Uh, I guess I can return to the game. I could do, uh, uh, I guess I can't do that. I don't have that in the right key. What else could I do? I mean, yeah. Because who knows? Oh, whoa! Meanwhile, giant rat sneaking up behind me. Drawn by my music, no doubt. Okay. It is just, well, it's a C scale plus a couple additional notes. Oh, I got poisoned. Well, I'm glad I got those leeches over there. here and pick up those leeches. Um, let's pick those up, put them in where? Uh, use them, remove the poison, some of my skin and blood, and what's my mana looking like? Okay, it'll be a little while before I get my mana back enough to heal, so I think I'm good. That's true, I could, I need to, uh, da, 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 da. Spikes that I have no use for. Oh, a ragged scroll. What, pray tell, doth the ragged scroll say? Where are we going to put that? Uh, I have another scroll somewhere, right? So let's put it in with there. Speak the mantra Ra to see thy blows land with greater effectiveness. How do you, can you just speak the mantra Ra? That's probably for leveling up. Let's give that, I'm gonna make a note of that. Ra, for just, uh, this is a question mark. Ra, better attack? Maybe? Hard to know. Okay, okay, I don't see any secrets. What's this? What's this? It's a worn chain call. So is that. All right, let's look at that map again. Um, yeah, it looks like I want to run down here and see what's there, and then I'm going to go back out and maybe go up in here. Yeah, let's do that. This feels like a game where you really need to scour the map anyway. All right. Okay, good. Oh, another poisonous spider. I killed one. Ah, oh, killed one of your kind on a prior level. Okay, this is proving more difficult, but I will smash your head in. Oh, oh, you evil spider. Ah, oh no, I'm gonna die. Hello. Uh, let's do that. Oh no, I don't have enough mana. Oh, and there's another spider. Hello, run away. Let's see where we are. Okay, take a right turn, take a left turn. Whoop. Goodbye. Man, it worked. So I'm running away in fear. Uh, 
back out. I think we'll go back to the Dwarven lands. See if we can't heal ourselves up. Alright, I guess we'll go back to G. Right? Or C, rather. So take a left and a right and a left. Left and a right and a left. Go up this hill. Whoop. Burn down this hall. I just want to get somewhere where it's safe to um, to rest, basically. And hopefully, I will survive. Um, do I have a thing about potion? About poison? No, I don't. I do not have... I have a... There's a fourth cell poison. There's a cure poison of the fifth cell, but I don't... Uh, maybe, maybe I can cast those. I don't think I have enough mana for it. Let's see, that would be the two. I don't have a rune for it. Uh, nope, that's not it. Okay, so can't do that. All right, so basically we're going to see if we're going to die when we sleep. So let's go to this room over here and hope we don't die. Let's hope we don't die before we wake. Um, uh, yeah, look at me, draining in a major way. Will this heal me? What can we do? Uh, yeah, can we eat it? Taste of bland. Can we eat some corn? Can we eat some of this? Plant's quite good. None of this helped my health. I have five mana. It's not recovering. I have a feeling I'm going to go to sleep and I'm not going to wake up. So I wonder if we should risk Eh, just whatever. See a better roll. See what happens. Okay. I survived. Good. I remember my lantern this time. Thank you. Though I appreciate it. It was likely that I would uh, not. Alright. Let's heal some. 40 out of 60. Um, let's heal some more, I guess. 50 out of 60. Shoot, I might as well go all the way, right? All right, so we went all the way. We're 60 out of 60. We are ready to take on the world. All right, back we go. Back we go into the spider's lair. The she-spiders. Or maybe we should do the mines. Oh, we got those creatures in there, though. Hmm. I think I would rather kill some spiders, maybe get up another level or two. And then go after him, because I am, what, level 8? Be nice to get at least another level. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's see. Uh, I'll do this one. 3, space, uh, rested, back to spiders. Go find him and kick their spider butts. Uh, yeah, let's go left. Whoop. You know what? Another thing I saw back here. Oh, no, maybe I didn't. I thought I did. Yes. Get some leeches. Everybody loves leeches. Uh, I guess we'll put those here. Oops. Might need those after this nice ba next battle. I probably should uh, save here instead. And just save the same thing. Because they're down here to the left, maybe? Taking them on. Taking them on! Except that's not where they were. Where were they? Pardon me. Uh, 
Okay, I will have to go get the specifics of that later. Uh, okay, so it looks like I gotta go up here, take a left, and take a left again. To go kick spider butt. What's that there? Debris. Every time I see the, that particular pile of debris, I think it's, uh, alright, I think we're back where the mushrooms are, okay, filled in that bit of the map. Every time I see this pile of debris, I think it's like a pile of fishing line or something. I do not read that particular one very well. Alright, come get me, spider. Where's the other one hanging out? Where is he? Of course, he poisons me on the first blow. Oh, did I kill him? Looks like I killed him. I did, in fact, kill him. All right, so, whoops. Let's use, oops, can't attack the leeches. Let's use the leeches. Okay. Good. All right, how are we doing? Are we hungry? Currently full and wide awake. That is true. I know there's another spider around here, though. to sneak up on me. Oh, another scroll. Um, in here, I guess. Un will allow one to make better deals, okay? So un is like barter. Good. I probably don't need to carry those, but it doesn't seem like they add much, if any, weight. Okay. Uh-huh, look at them all piling in there. Kite one to me. Of course, poison me again, why don't you? Well, you can't poison me twice, so... Ha! Joke's on you. Mm. Yeah. Take that. You wascally wabbits. Um, I don't know what that is. Pile of debris. Uh, what is that? It's one of those green potions. Like, maybe the green potion? Should we risk it? Let's just go ahead and save. Uh, green potion, Poshino, and there I have one somewhere. In here? Nope. Uh, in here? Y y that's the red and the green from below. So maybe I don't have one. Um, so maybe I will now have one. Oh, well, that was some health potion that I just drank unintentionally. Let's drag this thing in. Oh, that's a mana potion, okay. Green potion. Mana. And red potion. Health. Good to know. They've been hiding back here. Oh, some nice boots. I mean, these are uh, ser serviceable versus worn. I think probably we want the uh, we want this good stuff here. Oh, and a battle axe. All right. So 
This is probably, yeah, badly worn hand axe. Goodbye, badly worn hand axe. Hello. Serviceable battle axe. Nice. Don't be messing with me now. Worn wooden shield, serviceable small shield. Goodbye, worn shield. Hello, serviceable shield. Okay. Well, that was probably, in the end, kind of worth it. Let's see what we got here on the map. Uh, oh, another room here to the left. It looks like it probably just goes around this corner. So we'll make our way back down over to that bridge. Yeah, that's some slugs or something right in here. Okay, so we'll go down here and then take a left, I guess. Go down around this corner, go down, take a left from here. Go, 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 go. And then I think, yeah, here's our bridge. Oh, with a portcullis. So. So that's unfortunate. Because I don't see how we get to there. But maybe if we go this way, we can actually come back around to it. It's possible. So let's give that a, a look, a whirl, as it were. There's a worn leather cap. Okay, that's fine. Worn, oh, it does not, in fact. All right, debris, debris. Uh, ooh, another ragged scroll. Um, ragged scrolls go in this thing. To better gauge the quality of a deal, chant hun. Okay. Uh, Chant Hun to better gauge gauge quality of a deal. Let's make a deal. Okay, cool. All right. Oh, and there the potion went away. There's no, no apparent secret doors in here. I have not seen a secret door in a while. I have been looking, but I have not seen any. All right, so let's look at that map again. I guess maybe this way? I don't think it's gonna connect all the way up there. How? Maybe I could go past the lurker? And maybe there's a place to go up over here that would connect back into this area? You know what? Let's try something else. Let's try, because we got that pole. And we can see the button there, right? Maybe, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to use It won't let me use it on that. It won't let me use it on that. It won't let me use it on the gargoyle. Oh, maybe I wasn't pressing. You gotta use the right button, I guess. All right, uh, I can barely see the lever. Okay, let's try use pull on lever. Use pull on lever. Yes, okay. So what can we find in here? Is that a moon gate? I don't want to use it. I want to know what it is. Oh, it's a marble wall. Okay. Interesting. I probably could have gotten into the other area that way. A resilient sphere. Oh, I got room in my inventory for resilient spheres, I think. Where am I going to put them? I guess in this pouch. Because who knows what that's for. Rad. Oh, what is this? A crystal ball. Oh. Whoa. Okay, if I look through that way, I can see a thing. Can I see the same thing if I look through this way? I can. Weird. Oh, and there's a critter over there. I saw something moving. I thought. I might be wrong about that. Let's see. Oh, there is indeed. 
Well, he's gonna fall to the might of my battle axe. They both are. Oh, they see me now. You're owned. Goodbye. Oh, I'm sorry. I break your concentration? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So, there's a chest. Shall we use it? Indeed. What do we get? Oh, more runes! Runes are good. Um, let's pick up the rune. this rune. Uh, except we can't do that. Pick it up and put it in our rune bag. We got the P rune and the... Um, so I don't know what is that. That rune I think is called the Darth Star Trench rune? What the heck is that supposed to be? Um, I think I already had that one. Yeah, that's this one. So I already had that one, but I get the this one, so that's cool. Uh, can I actually look at them? Her and Manny. That's a her. That's an H. Or this is an H. I don't know. I guess I could do this and I can tell what they are. Her. That's a her stone, and this is the Manny stone. I already had one of those, though. Whoops. I want to keep that. This is what I wanted to do. Uh, another ragged scroll. I'll put it in the ragged scroll pile, which is in here. Oh, I've run out of space in my ragged scroll pile. Oh, that's not my ragged scroll pile. That's not my ragged scroll pile. Where are my ragged scrolls? I thought they were in here. Oh, yeah, they are. Okay, but I'm out of space. So I guess I'll put it in here. <clears throat> Thanks. I know I can see it. It says, remove bet from a resist blows spell for better protection. All right, resist blows. All right, so just I, uh, lightning bolt, better resist blows. I should probably be doing things like that before I'm in combat. Well, that's cool. Let me see if I have the runes. I have I for sure. Oh, and here's uh, the other one. So okay, yeah. Presumably I could do that. Good to know. But, uh, this is what's weird. Oh, I can't pick it up. But I can't walk through or anything. But there's a stone in there. Can't pick up the thing. I had this other resilient sphere. I don't like the look of that. I don't want to go in there. But maybe, maybe I can put the resilient sphere somehow in here. Oh yeah, it's in there. It's in here. Can I use this thing on this? No. Oh. I threw it. Good thing it's resilient. Okay. What happens if I use the orb? Nothing. What happens if I look at the orb? I just look at the orb. And I can't, like, look around. All I can see is the slugs in that gray orb. Weird, weird, weird. Well, I'm glad I found it. I don't know what any of it means. There's another sword. Came as sword focused. <laughs> it does. It's it's supposed to be blue marble, but uh, yeah, it does sort of look like uh, it's some kind of aquarium deal. All right. Um, I suggest first of all that I save. Uh, and this is. Five space. I'm actually going to go find Shrine again so I can level up. <clears throat> Leveling up is good. And then I think we'll tackle the mines. Alright. Uh, well, I should go left here before we go and do that, I suppose. Um, yeah, there's just a bench down here. I suspect that there would not be much. But it feels like there should be a secret door here or something. But there's not. Not apparently. Okay. I guess maybe that's all space for the mines, is that correct? Yeah, the mines. So this is all the mines, basically. Alright. 
Um, I guess this is the fastest way. I guess I can just go back, go that way. Yes, have a coffee. I entirely concur. You should have a coffee. Everyone should have coffee. I've had a lot of coffee today. Forget left. Yes. Left, take a right. Go all the way down the long hall. All right. Um, I feel like I'm not using spells a lot. I don't know what I should do. Let's look at our character sheet. I wonder if I missed some runes on an earlier level. All right, so I have 20 mana. That's good for three heals, three lesser heals. So there might be value in increasing that some more. Um, or I could do Sumra and increase my attack, which is quite good, and increase my axe skills, which could be better. Uh, that seems like the thing to do. So let's start with that, with some more Sumra. Hey, Funnycom, welcome. Um, I've been trying to stream as uh, part of the cast, um, just like every weekend, playing through the stuff I'd be playing through anyway. I got set up thanks to um, uh, Matt Estock explained to me and like sent me an email like, buy this stuff, um, and I bought that stuff, and now I can sort of stream whatever, console, uh, PC, from my living room or from my basement. I'm in the basement now. Um, and so yeah, I've been trying to do the things we're doing on the cast. Okay, then my axe went up, that's good. And my defense went up, good. All right, and I think now I will also try the other one, which is new. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to do it every weekend. Oh, I advanced in mana. Uh, all right, let's see, if, let's see if I have one more. Do some more Sum Ra. I'm not ready, okay. I'm not ready, I'm not worthy. So yeah. What do you do, funny? When you're not being funny? I mean, that might be always, it's fair to say. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, I always do that. All right, so I wanna go right. Uh, where are we gonna go? We're gonna go to the mines. Uh, so we need to back up. I guess we need to go back here. Boop, ba -do, do, do, do. What I really want to do is just like paint on the floor a big X. Like, don't go this way. You're done going this way. All right, so that's. Um, I wonder if I can open this one with the pole. Doesn't look like it. But it looks like now I have more light. Maybe I can talk to this dude. Yes. All right, thanks, dude. Oops, that's all. All right, right through. I don't want to talk to that. I just want to look at it. Regular stone walls. This is some dude's sleeping quarters. I'll go in there. It's my health. 39 out of 60. I feel like I should uh, heal a bit. 53 out of 60 seems better. And we got these mines. Massive door. Can we just like open it? Thank you. Alright, so we're gonna see those crazy beholder beasts in here, I think. So we should probably save. Uh to six uh, entering nine mines. Oh, a better shield. That looks good. We should probably pick that up. Uh, except uh, that is what that is, right? A serviceable buckler. Sounds good to me. I've been hoping to get a serviceable bu butler. Bu buckler. All right, let's put that there. Let's read the signs. South Branch, it's a shack. We've been looking all over for this dude. 
Now we know. Watch this blood is gonna be Shaq. I guess we'll just keep the right hand on the wall. Okay. I don't see Shaq yet. Still going lower. Oh, maybe he lives in this hole. Let's open that door. Nope, no shack in here. There is, however, a fishing pole and more of the um, oil, which we need, and which I seem to have forgotten where I put, so that's good. Uh, not in here, and definitely not in there. Here we go. All right, so we'll put that. Uh, God. Put that in here, and that in here, and this in here. Oh. Um, and I feel like I should pick up this fishing rod. I guess I'll put it in with the weapons. Yeah, I, I know it's a dirt floor. That is a fishing rod, right? Okay, got a fishing pole. I've got these things, but I don't think I really need a rock hammer. And I still haven't found Shaq, unless he was that blood spot. So let's keep wandering around. Oh, is this going to be one of those areas? Oops, that's not what I wanted. All right, Gothic, I'll still be around. Let's see. Check on the time. Yeah, I'll still be around for an hour. I expect. What I'll probably do is try to really finish out this level and then uh, go to uh, the next level tomorrow. I wonder if I use the rock hammer, if I can get stuff out of that. I'm kind of curious, so I'm going to find out. Even though that's going to mean dropping some crap, let's go check it out. Um, let's take that fishing pole, leave that here. Um, uh, oops, can I just pick up the stupid rock hammer? Oh, I'm in look mode. Uh, 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 uh. Good. Yep. Let's see if we can just like. Oh, who's this dude? Uh, it looks like this must be Shaq. Hello. I've looked all over for you. I've scoured the level. Oh, and it's not even you. Ah. Uh. Hmm. We need to get some more water. I'll be right back. Do I wish to learn the ways of, maybe, you know what? Uh, you would be a miner, it's a tough job. 
Don't take it up, you have not the strength. Hard work it is. Picking up a rock hammer and smashing boulders to pieces and scraping the rock over and over again. One inch. Must be some good points. Backbreaking work, but the rewards are sweet. Gold there is for the hard worker, and I know of no substance better. And uh, the thrill of feeling one's hammer thud solid rock and suddenly discovering a new vein. Uh, go to the northern part of these mines. See for yourself the beauty of a gold mine. Watch yourself. A fearsome monster has been seen in that area. <clears throat> and perhaps even an adventurer such as ye could not handle it. Perhaps not. Um... Let's ask about that monster. Monster of the Mines, a great boon it would be if you did defeat it, but I don't know that it can be done. A fearsome thing it is. Caught it once out of the corner of my eye. I don't care to see it again. It lurks near the north part of these mines. You be careful if you truly mean to destroy it. You'll have to break your way through it. Oh, okay. So I'm glad I have the rock hammer, I guess. Uh, so maybe we can trade with this dude. It would be a pleasure. He has food. He has... Badly worn chain boots. Well, mine are probably better than that. Uh, yeah. Um, small blue gem. I don't know what that is. Badly worn chain cowl. Dale, piece of meat. Okay, guess I'm done with him. And ciao. All right. All right, well, let's go see. First of all, first thing I was going to check is... Uh, dude, get out of my way. Can I, like... Um, use this here. Uh, like, is that working? Like, what's going on? I can't use that. Of course I can't. It's gold veined, but I don't see any gold chipping off of it. Uh, I don't know what that is. Wow, that's tedious. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working. Okay. So, well, at least I found what I needed. I do need a rock hammer in order to break through. Some more rock. And I'm betting my map isn't showing me all this detail. Oh, it is. Oh, okay, good. Well, that's a happy, happy little accident. I guess we'll just make our way to the northern part of the mines. I still haven't found Shaq. So what's his deal? I just want to break through, I guess, to the other area where I'm going to find this beastie until I've got shack. Um, let's go down here. Well, there's water. Um, let's look at the map. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I want to go in the water here. I think I want to go back up here. We can come back to the water. Right, there's no, no point in going after that. Um, ooh, yep. uh, oh, there's a little nook and cranny. Filling out my map. All right, let's run down here, down here, down here. Book around this corner. Still haven't found Shaq. I want to point out. Though there was a sign right up here, right? There's a sign like right here, which was like, oh, Shaq, go look from here. So maybe he's this way? Doesn't really seem like it. Well, certainly haven't been everywhere, so it's always a chance, I guess. No, Shaq, my Lakers dude. Okay, cross the bridge. Oh, a soon to be dead rat. Wow, that's a tenacious rat. Right. Well, still no sign of Shaq. Did find some sweet money though. Which I, oops, still have no apparent use for. Uh, 10, I guess. Pick them all up. 
Oh, we can't pick up 10 coins. Do I have anything else to throw away? I can't barter for anything of interest. Uh, interest. Um, I have that pole I want to keep. I could throw away the arrows, I guess. I have port and I have scroll. And I have this rock hammer. I guess I will leave the gold for now. I'll go over here so we can find Shaq. Our man Shaq. Shaq. Oops. No, nope, didn't want to do that. I just did the wrong thing. I just went back. I'm going to go across this bridge. Maybe we'll find Shaq over here. Shaq. Shaq. The standard of the mountain folk seems promising. Are you Shaq? Yo, Shaq! Boom, Shaka. What do you wish to Ken? I don't wish anything to Ken. I don't even know Ken. Uh, what does I know of the talismans? Let's go. That's a good question. Two of them were smith work. A sword and a shield they were. Both fine work. Tell me of the sword. Okay. I'm going to start making notes on Tiberius' sword here. Where'd my pen go? Oh, there it is. First of all, Etrian Odyssey book that I'm going to throw away. All right. Uh, Tiberius is... Beerus' sword. Potent beyond mortal blades, has a sense of fair play, did Caliburn. Caliburn, that's uh, cleverly named there, Kibiris. Um ba 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 Twasn't for naught, they called it the Sword of Justice. It was forged. Uh, all right, where, yeah, where is it? Broken into two pieces. Okay, that's good there. Broken into two pieces. Good. All right, and then, uh, uh, sure, let's trade. Oh, you've got some, what is that? Excellent male leggings? That is way better than what I have. What do you want for your male leggings? How about all my money? I guess I'm getting a terrible deal. I am willing to risk it. Uh, okay. I guess I get the... Yes, I did. Okay. Good. Finally, somebody took my deal. I'm going to talk some more to Shaq. Oh, love Shaq. I love it. Um, let's see. Let's ask him about... The shield. Uh, oh, this is the justice. Okay. Uh, the shield of valor. The shield of valor. Shield of valor. It were named. Never a finer one did I see. Twas Blackthorns once, or so I've heard tell. But it were one of those things easier to set aside than to take up again, and he left it when he went to become the conscience for all the world. Ach, but that, I, but that were a mess. Be there aught else I can do for you. Oh, yeah, he was um, Blackthorn. Was that six? Five or six, I think. Uh, do you know where the shield is now? Uh, no. <laughs> I will. Okay, is this it? <laughs> Uh, okay. I have not found it then. Okay. Well, don't give up hope. Um, oh. I can have him repair stuff. That's good. Uh, here. Okay. Well, I don't know how to do that.
mantra alone I was to learn the re the repair skill I don't know how you'd actually apply that skill okay like can I maybe I can just maybe I do this Uh, now I'm out of gold because I gave up all my gold. Uh, okay, so I guess no. Um, uh, no, let's not trade at the moment. Um, oh, hopefully that went back on my head. No, of course it didn't. Where did it go? Did it go on the ground? Have I lost it forever? Is it still in the conversation? Where did my cowl go? Let my cowl go. I appear to have simply, oops, I don't want to, great. I think I just lost my cowl. Okay. Um, uh, can we tell what is what? I don't really have anything to have described, I don't think. Oh, I have that weird sphere thing. Uh, okay, I already guess that's what that is. How about this? Um, that's a sapphire worth about eight gold pieces. So I could ask him for eight gold pieces and have him uh, fix other stuff, I guess. Okay. Uh, sure, let's trade. What do you got? You got a male shirt. Um, all right, let's try that. And let's, let's give him our gem. Uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, I'm getting a terrible deal. Well. No, I don't want a terrible deal. I guess I'm getting a terrible deal. Okay. Sure, let's make one. All right, how about both of them? Uh, okay, how about... Uh, I move them both back and try the sapphire thing. Oh, <laughs> of course. Um, I'd be getting a great deal. Okay, so he needs more stuff. An even deal. Let's try that. Uh, all right, let's sweeten the pot, I guess. Bartering, fun. Uh, how about this offer? Okay, I want the, uh, okay. No, no. Oh no, it's too heavy. Shoot. Oh no, no, no. When did I save last? Um, it's too heavy. What am I gonna do? I don't need this, I guess. Maybe now I can take it? Yes, okay. Okay, phew, that was close. Uh, okay, and somehow I get my runes. Ah, oh, there's my chain cowl. I can't talk to it, of course I can't. Okay, I guess we'll talk to this dude again. Uh, belongs to him. Belongs to him. This is stuff. Those are all these things you could repair things for me, presumably. Okay. All right. Um. I guess I could. Maybe he can identify. Maybe he can identify stuff for me that I'm curious about like this potion. 
A green potion. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks so much. Uh, you know what? Uh, I don't even care. Um, let's see if he will trade for these arrows I don't even want. All right, so let's see, what could he give me? Nothing, he's got no money now to offer. Um, he probably won't do that. I would be getting an excellent deal. How about gloves? I would be getting an excellent deal. Okay, well, that's not gonna happen. Uh, actually, let's not move any. I don't know what to burn them. And let's say goodbye. Okay, good. Maybe now I can pick up the cow. I don't want to talk to it. Aha. Okay, good. Now I'm all in mail. Feeling a little bit better. All right, now let's see if he wants to go with us. Um, um, no. So maybe I can't now get him to come with me? That's helpful. Uh, he might be bugged. I thought he, had, he was able to come with me. Um, I guess let's learn more about the shield. No, we don't want to trade. I guess we'll come back to him. But we might need the rock. Uh, uh, we've got no space for anything. Uh, I might have to put the mandolin down. That didn't create any space. Any, that didn't free up any weight. Oh, I can't talk to it. Of course I can't. So let's keep let's keep a hold of it. Is there other stuff I could get rid of? Nothing heavy. I've got a bunch of key. Oh, I've got these leggings. That freed up a little space. Um, but it, the rock hammer, I think, was two. Uh, that's my rock hammer. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Because we're going to need the rock hammer to get past the boulders. It as much as told us. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Let's look at the map. Yes, we want to go back up over here, I guess. Oop. Is that right? Yes. So what are people's plans for the evening slash rest of weekend? Is anybody doing anything interesting other than watching me meander through the underside of, uh, oh, there is a boulder suddenly in my way. That was a trap. Okay. That's a pain in the butt to get past. Oh, man, jumping is so lousy. Maybe I can break it. Oh, I could. No, I'm past it. Okay, good. Um, okay. Go around this way, it looks like. Yeah, that was all the south branch. I found Shaq at long last. I was looking for Shaq in all the wrong places. I was looking for Shaq in too many faces. Little buggy. 
should really save soon. Okay. Can I look at this thing? I know it's a ragged scroll, thank you. Um, great. Splinter Cell Double Agent. Someday. For better eyesight, use the Mantra Lou. Better eyesight. Alright, Mantra Lou. Better eyesight. Cool. Seems like a thing I'd want. Maybe. I'm going to start leaving these things behind. What does this one say? Use poor. Use poor for long jumps. Um, doesn't seem like I really need all these scrolls. Maybe I'll just like go to where I, yeah, I'll just toss them all in one place. Uh, this is one that Alfred and Sandra, that one kind of looks like a quest one. And this goes here. Okay. And I'm just going to put it on my map. Uh, J. Drop scrolls. So I've taken all the notes. Yeah, Splinter Cell is a series I have not played more than really a few minutes of, to be honest. At some point I picked up the second one, I think. Um, and I have not... Uh, yeah, that takes care of that. Let's just break up these boulders so I can get through and go confront. Yeah, but before I do that, uh, five, six, sorry, three, seven, kill the beholder eye thing. All right, let's go. My, my save titles are starting to become aspirational. But yeah, I played a bit of, uh, like, the, oh, son of a. I spent all that money on a male shirt. God. Oh, there it is. Well, you know what I'm going to do? First of all, I'm going to cast a different spell on myself. I'm going to cast... Oh, I'm still poisoned. Lovely. I'm going to cast... Uh, I... This one. And then I'm going to go back to IBM so I have it. Uh, in case I need to heal. And in fact, I might heal a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna try him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? So not exactly a beholder, really. Doing no damage, apparently. Oh, I hit him. Oh, he hit me. He's hitting me a lot more than I'm hitting him. Oh, yeah, you're going down, dude. It would have been nice to have Shaq's help here. Breath of the Wild DLC, oh man. That is a game I need to get back to. Okay, this combat is not fun. Oh, and my combat is super slow. Everything's getting damaged. I'm going to die. Destroyed. Nice. All right, what do we got here? We got Splinter Cell talked about Breath of the Wild DLC. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get around to that before long when I can hold the controller again. Ori in the Blind Forest, man, I have that, um, and I would also like to play it. I have it for the PC. Thieves in Time. Is that a book? I don't know what that is. Uh, 
Probably continue to learn how to fly the F-16 in Falcon. Nice. Uh, and Metro 2035. Yeah, at some point, I may read that. Um, is that Eastern European, that series? Like Polish or something? Like The Witcher or whatever? Or Russian, even? Okay. Well. I guess I don't actually need this. Uh, let's take... Oh, let's not be in combat anymore. Let's look in there. Yeah, I know. I see a second. Oh, yeah! Um... And I need to take that down here, put that up here. Yeah, runes, baby! And then go and put that up there. And put that in there. And I guess we can just take that and put that up there. And then we don't really need the bag anymore. There's no space to drop it. Okay, now there is. That is a serviceable leather vest. I think we're good on that. And over here is the mail shirt, which ugh, annoys me no end. Not really likely to be a secret door in the roughly hewn area, I suppose. All right, and this is where the stuff is. Is that, have I covered the map here? It looks like I've uncovered everything. Yes, I have. All right, I can report back to King, what's his name? Oh, maybe I can open this door now. Okay. Let's go. It is Russian. Oh, Thieves in Time is a fourth Sly Cooper. And now that is something I should play. Because I love me some Sly Cooper. I have not ever played that. Is that on the PS4? Or is that a PS3 thing? I don't remember when it came out. I remember at the time thinking, oh, I should play that. And then, because I'm an idiot, I did not. All right, let's look at the map here. Okay, we want to go left and then take a right and go talk to the duties. This is his throne room. Okay. Alright. So maybe he'll be all overjoyed. He said he was gonna do something for us if we if we uh Alright, let's talk to this dude. Has some managed to kill the vicious monster? Yes. Yes indeed. Was it difficult? Um sure I was fortunate. And modest. Truly, thou art worthy of this great reward here. Um, hopefully, I can carry it. Um, so, it's for a small amulet cast in the shape of a stone cutter's chisel. This was the favored tool of great coolness. The best gem cutter ever to grace our tribe is traditionally presented to heroes. And those who excel in their craft, thou art the first knot of our folk to bear it. May it bring thee fortune again, our thanks. Now, can I, like, put it on? No. Do I have a gift to offer? I don't really feel like I have a gift to offer this dude. Uh, what is this? A block of incense. Eh. Is he going to want a block of incense? I feel like I'm going to need that for something else. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay. Alright, let's go see if we can open that door. I don't want to talk to that. I want to use it. Ding. Doorbell. Cool. Yeah, I should check that out one of these days. Have you played? Oh, you haven't played it at all. You said starting. Um, uh, 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 you know what I need to do is I need to save. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, mind denizen destroyed. Okay, good. All right, let's see if we can open this door now with one of our many keys, which are where? Again, here. That's probably not this one. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. And no keys fit. 
Um, maybe I can talk to this dude. Maybe he'll give me a key. Alright, let's talk to this dude. I am Trish! Uh, I'm merely exploring. Okay, no use exploring here. Maybe I can get Goldthirst to tell me the key, the password. Wouldn't that be nice? I don't know why you would, but why not? Oh, Pish. Maybe it's Coolness. The Amulet of Coolness. I've got the Amulet of Coolness. I am Trish. Um, uh, coolness. Darn. Oh well. Uh, I know I can't talk to that. Can I open it? I can't remember. And what was in here? Just a place where people sleep. Alright, what say ye? Where are we? Um, not a lot that's not explored here. We got this weird room. Don't really know what to make of that. Um, I'm going to actually put, uh, I'm going to drop a marker there. Because uh, I don't know what that is. And we'll call it K, the orb room. Feels like I've gone everywhere, pretty much. Oh man, I love those three. Yeah, no, it feels like I should, uh, I should go down to the next floor. Maybe I should, yeah, I should probably go see if I can level. Um, yeah, I pretty much, yeah, there's a way down here. I don't really remember what, oh, this is that lava room or whatever where I died when I stepped on the black stuff. Yeah, it feels like, feels like I'll run up to the shrine and then come back and, and go lower. Or I could go down here. Well, we'll see. Wow, two is the best so far. Interesting. I do like two because it's got that, um, it feels like they really nailed down the heist feel to me with that one. Would you, uh, is that why you like it? That's why I like it. Um, I feel like it did a really good job of kind of nailing down the feel of doing a heist with your buddies. Um, that's kind of why I like that one. Yeah, it's pretty, that's pretty dope that way. All right, so let's see, I've picked up some other mantras. So I have repair skill, eh. Better eyesight. Eh. Um, raw, better attack. Un for barter. I should probably write these all down like in one place. So, mantras. I mean, I sort of feel like I want to just keep using my two that I've been doing. Sorry if I'm off screen. I'm, I'm writing some stuff down. Mana and lore. Um, Sumra is tech skills generally. Um, Omka is practical skills. I feel like I use the magic a fair amount, and so having the mana would be nice. Uh, let's see, raw is attack for just. Ra, ra, um, un is barter. Um, lawn is repair. And lu is eyesight. Like eyesight. Maybe you could see traps. Maybe. Yeah, that's a fair point. A lot of additional characters in three. Um, 
Yeah, I haven't played that in a long time. I've actually given them away now. I gave them to, to my nephew, who is uh, younger. He's uh, 10, I think. He'll be 11 this year. He'll be 11 in July, I believe. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's start with a Mu on and then a Sumra if I've got that too. Mu on. Blam, that's not. Uh, oh, it's Mu om. Mu om. I'm not ready. I am not ready. Uh, oh, I should definitely rest as well. So why don't I rest, get some of all of this back, and then I can just do that, I guess. And, Get some of my health back. Yeah, but let's do that. Let's rest. Get better at that. Fifth time's a charm. All right, uh, we go back into. Uh, that's not where I want to go. Here. And I'll just like talk to the dude. I uh, can't talk to that. Can't talk to that. See you, Cruffle. Always glad to have you, Ryan. Be well. All right. I guess I can just rest in here because who cares, right? Uh, oh, ho oh, oh, that was close. Um, and we'll just go nine resting, and we'll go back in here and uh, use that. Oh, look at me, all full up. Okay. All right, and let's look at the map real quick. I don't need that. Oops. The map says, all right, behind the throne is a way down. So let's go there. Throne is this way. What? What is that door? Oh. Uh, this way. Okay. That's the way out over there. Uh, yes, of course I see a sturdy door. All right, before I go, let's just make sure. Well, there's a locked door at B, right? Can't get in there. Are there any other locked doors for B? No. Yeah, no, I feel like this is a good, I feel like I filled out this map pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right. Down we go. Oh, look at that. All right, let's look at the map. Okay, let's first of all. Up. Okay. Now here's the hope that the monsters aren't too bad here. There's three of these things. Some leeches. Oh, oh, oh. Great, I got poisoned. Great, terrific. Um, how's this door? This door is locked. I don't suppose any of these keys that I have will work. Where did I put the keys? Of course not, of course not, of course not. Uh, I assume that did not fit, yeah. Nothing fits, okay. That door is locked. I've got leeches everywhere. And I'm poisoned, but that's fine. I can live with the poison. Oh, I've experienced, I've reached experience level nine. Maybe I should go back. Yeah, 
A dank. Oh, hello. A dank, malodorous stench of this underground swamp invades your revolted nostrils. I'm indeed recoiling, but mostly because of the bats. So it stinks in here. Terrific. Alright, well, that bat ran away. It bravely ran away. Bravely ran away, away. There's a lurker here. Maybe I can kill the lurker. with the best, buddy. Right, what do we got over here? What on earth am I even seeing? A mist cloud. Clouds of mist. levers back there I'll probably have to go back I should probably mark those like right here right the levers locked door okay this one's not very readable so I'll just leave it as levers and locked levers levers that that's not a dirt floor a mushroom okay yeah I don't, I'm good without picking up more mushrooms I don't even know what they do they might just feed me I have no idea oh oh no did I get rid of my rock hammer my rock thing okay I'm gonna do I'm gonna put that on the map because I think I feel like that's a thing I'm gonna to want to go back and get the rock hammer for. Cracked wall. I might need that. Might need to go back for that hammer just for there. So I'm gonna to need to find a mantra that's like. Uh, I might need to find a mantra that is basically um, increase my strength so I can carry more junk. Alright, did it go all the way around? No, not even by a long shot. Look how far away I am from where I started. Alright, let's see what's in here. Mossy natural snow wall. Right. These cracked ones. Oh, another dude. Another dude who wants to get owned. Okay, whatever it is, it's now dead. Oh, and I don't see him anymore, so I maybe killed him too. Okay. Alright, before I go down there, let's see what else is up here. Well, I guess I'll keep going. I'll go down. Okay, I'm gonna go another half hour, and then, uh, and then I will see you folks tomorrow. Just an FYI. Uh, ragged scroll. I don't know what those are for. You read them. I'm sorry. I see a ragged magical scroll. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna put that there. Maybe I'll put it in here. No. Where did I have all my magic scrolls before? Oh, I just ate some corn. Uh, uh, I guess I put them 
in here with the bedroll. Yeah. Okay. Fight the walls. Fight the walls. Caved in passageway. Oh, here's a way up. Well, I guess we know where that goes. Okay. Hey, Ghost of Christmas Future, is this the first we see you today? How are you doing this fine Saturday? Is it indeed a fine Saturday for you? Pick up that torch. You know what? I've got plenty of torches. Probably carrying too many torches, to be honest. Oh, that's a slug. It used to be a slug. Alright, now we got some big area of water. Well, an okay Saturday is better than a bad Saturday, so glad to hear it. That takes us up to where we came from. That's caved in. And I'm gonna kill myself just because the mana will recharge in time. Oh, hollow. There's another axe. I don't know if I should pick it up. I don't know if I can really afford to carry it. Let's look at it. It's badly worn. So let's stick with what we got, shall we? Um, and then let's pull a switch on that. Who knows what that does, but there's really no way to know. We can go all the way back, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. See if it did anything up here. I can't imagine it did, but never hurts to look while we're over here like you probably didn't open up a bridge or anything did not open any doors over here okay so it's unconnected to this okay good we'll go back Probably open something up above. Those mists are terrifying me. Oh, maybe it opened this door. Probably. Alright, um, I'm nonetheless gonna put. Oh. Sure. Uh, you cannot use that. Can I look at it? Okay, well. What a weird thing that there's a door that goes into here. What an odd, odd thing. All right, do I wanna swim is the question. Well, excuse me, I don't wanna swim there. is the point of any of that, okay? All right, well, I'm not gonna go crazy exploring this part of it. There's plenty of other things to explore, so. You got that thing out there, like, what is this all about? Is this a submerged house? Like, what is this? What is this for? Um, That's where I went, right? Oh, that's just a little thing. All right, so I guess we'll go make our way back and kind of left hand on the wall on the way back as well. There's a mushroom over there. There's maybe something up there, we don't know. Uh, do I see a lurker? 
I see an opportunity to level up. Oh, don't run away, you coward. Come on, just hit him. Oh no, that's not what I want to do at all. I don't want to be in the water. No, I can't swim, I'm a bad swimmer. Brian Taylor told me not to take swimming. All right, where'd he go? Lucky I didn't drop my axe in the water. Now that would be an impressive little bit of simulation that I'd be totally annoyed by. Alright, I'm not going to worry about him, I guess. Is there good stuff in Deus Ex for swimmers? Okay, I did all this. I guess we'll kind of go to the left here. I do not remember that being a thing, but I believe you. I just certainly do not remember it being a thing. No, I don't remember there being any swimming in Deus Ex. You're just messing with me now. Um, right. Oh, there's a lizard man up there. Cool. It's kind of neat seeing him over there and not being able to do anything about him. Phew. Alright, I'll jump over there. I'm probably going to run into that guy at some point. Alright, blind covered, etc. Man, I'm not finding as many secret doors as I was before. Um, Alright, well, you know what? I guess I'll push the buttons. Alright, so all pressed, no. One up, no. One, two up. Oops, can't reach it. Okay. One, three. Oh, hello. Where'd you all come from? That was kind of unexpected. I've been pushing the button, they've all just been summoned. Blam! I feel like I probably summoned the, these all here somehow. Time I push button one, skeletons. Now there's one behind me. Okay, that took care of that took care of those. My goodness! All right, I'm back at the beginning. I can't get through this door. We got a space I couldn't figure out here. Huh? I have not made a lot of progress on this level, which is probably fine because I'm going to call it pretty soon. Um, oh, am I working on anything cool I'm allowed to share? I cannot share the specifics of what I'm working on. Oh, there it is. Um, but I'm working on a thing with uh, Nels Anderson um, and Lindsay Gallant, um, both uh, now Canadians. Uh, and uh, I am having a blast. It's uh, it's gonna be pretty neat. Uh, we're gonna be showing some folks some stuff at GDC, but it's super early. Um, but it's been great. It's uh, 
It leverages the sorts of things I like to do. Um, uh, and so that's all been a lot of fun and they are great to work with. They really are. So it has been pretty great. I, I really can't go into more specifics than that uh, at this point because we don't really even know uh, entirely what we're making. We're kind of finding our way to that. But, um, oh, storage room, that seems like a good place to go. Of course it's locked. Where are my keys? Um, I don't suppose any of these will work. Um, and I haven't been improving my lock picking, so I haven't been doing any lock picking. Nothing fits. Yeah, but I appreciate the interest. I just can't, uh, I can't, uh, can't, oops. I can't uh, go further than that at this point. It'll be Nels probably does most of the sort of talking about what we do. Oh, let's talk to this dude. Oh, a bandit. Oh, it's merely I. It's I, Trish. Okay, I'll take my leave now. I could totally kick your butt, bandit. But, all right, we'll come back to them. Let's make a note on the map. But, uh, E. E. Bandits. Bandit. Let me just mark that. And we'll come back that way in a minute. I want to see what's over here. Oh, another way down. Okay. Good. And we'll go F. F is down. Okay, yeah, I guess we're going back and going across. If I have to kill that bandit, I will. Uh, although I haven't saved in a while, so I should probably do that. Okay. I know I can't talk to that. Why would I talk to that? The door's locked. All the doors are locked. Everything's locked. Everything everywhere is locked. Oh, except for this one. Oh, there's a red thing. What is that red thing? An upset red lizard man. Maybe I can talk him down from his upset upsetedness. I can. Bika, sore click. Greetings, lizard man. I'll say Bika to thee also. Uh, hmm. Tosa ya sore click fepa. Uh, hmm. I do not understand. That's too bad. I would like to help him. At least he's not attacking me. I think I'll probably mark him on the map. Uh, he's gone already. Let's see. Let's just go ahead and put him here. Red Lizard Man. Play some Sousa. I'm not good at Sousa. I'm gonna have to look up some mandolin, some uh, music I can play on my mandolin. Or maybe I can talk to this one. Hello. Oh. Points to the figure moving behind the bars. Okay. So let's go and look at the figure behind. Oh, who's this dude? I don't wanna talk to that, I wanna talk to him. Performs complicated. Oh, what? I missed all of that. Art thou mute? Ergu. Man, I'm just going straight through on the, the keys. He gestures at himself, indicating he understands the tongue of the lizard men. Furthermore, he makes signs that seem to say the lizard men understand your speech but cannot pronounce human talk themselves. Okay, can you teach me? 
indicates that you must supply a word he will translate for you. Okay, what does Seth mean? Okay. Lizard man. I'm going to put this next to my mantras over here because you never know. How many games do you have to do this in? Lizard man. Seth. For yes. Okay, how about click? Click means no. Okay. Interesting. Um, and then, okay, I need to get some other words, it looks like. That is cool. I like that, actually. Bika, okay. Let's get some more words for our little uh, Tosa Yeshor Click Tosa Sor. All right, so Tosa uh, Yeshor. This is neat. Tosa and Tosa Sor. Okay. Uh, and I'll say I can't understand. And it says the Tosa fit. Trash. Tosa Epa Ergo. Epa. Oh, okay. I was pretty close with that guy. Ergo. Okay. Let's go get some more words from uh, dude here. Ergo. Okay. Other. Uh, Bika. Greetings, right? It's, it's obvious, but it's neat that it can do this. Uh, Tosa. Points to you and takes your hand and indicates and makes you point to him. In the case for you to try again, takes points to you and takes your hand, makes you point to him. You? Just you, I guess. Let's try. Yes, yeah, sure. Yes, yeah, sure. Doesn't recognize. All right, let's try. Yes, yeah, sure. Click. Uh, not clock. Uh, friendly. All right. This is very neat. <laughs> I agree. These scowls. Okay, scowls. Oh, so this is friend or foe is what he asked me. Uh, foe. And then, see, this is a thing you can totally do today. Holds his arms out and looks imploringly. Okay, pleading, beg, beg or please. Stretch. All right, so they probably have some other uh, thing for me to do. Uh, okay, help. Yep, yeah, please help. Uh, so, Tosa might also mean us. Epa. Epa! Epa! A little uh, Simpsons movie for you. Uh, and then how about Ergo? We'll just see what he does when I say Ergo. Yes. Okay. All right, I'm going to call it there because this this is neat and I want to dig into it, um, but it's four, it's almost four o'clock. Um, so I've been doing this around four hours and it is time uh, to go maybe make myself a little something to eat um, and uh, what else am I going to do? I do have a little bit of work to do, so I might do a little work. Uh, I might do that tomorrow, tomorrow morning. I might read. I don't know. I got things I got to do. I watch a movie. Uh, translating lizard speak. Awesome. I am sure I'm going to quit. Well, thanks all for joining me. Appreciate you coming by. 
<laughs> that would have been amazing if he had been Rick rolling me. Uh, that is good. Um, all right, well, I'm going to call it there. Thanks so much for coming by, folks. Uh, always a pleasure. Um, I will probably start around the same time tomorrow, so around noon, uh, and uh, and figure on me. Yeah, probably going until I finish level three tomorrow, um, and uh, and that'll be it. And then Tim and I'll talk when we talk about this. This part is going to come up, though. I'll tell you right now. In fact, I see the big sort of uh, bigger chat that we need to have is about sort of the discovery of different things like you don't even know what things you can level and mantras and all the different things you got to find a lot of good stuff here so thanks all for coming by i'll be on tomorrow um probably again noon my time uh which is eastern standard uh and uh um but yeah if you follow me on twitch or whatever it'll notify you um and you can check it out on the twitch thing so good night all cheers be well bye